What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Asakura, the one who never knows best. And in today's video, I'm bringing you something very, very special. I've talked about it. I mentioned it here or there. If you've been in the streams or if you've been in the videos, um, but despite what you may believe about me as a Tekken player, I think there's just a lot of room to grow and improve here. And some of you might think I'm trash. Some of you might think I'm pretty nice. And I think I'm okay at best, but I want to be better than okay. And that's why today I'm joined by none other than KWS. Say what's up to the people. Hello. That's all you got? <laughs> Listen, I've been, I've been streaming for almost seven hours. He has right been now. live I'm, for I'm almost run, seven I'm hours. Low. It's, 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 he's also in the UK, as you can probably tell from the accent. So I'm, it's uh, it's about eight thirty over here on you know on the East Coast. Uh, it's about one thirty in the morning for him. Not that that really matters because I know he's on that DJ schedule. Because it was like eleven o'clock last night my time, and he DM me. I was like, bro, don't expose me. Like I was that. like, yo, why are you away? Uh, but yeah, man. So he's gonna be coaching me for a little bit. Hopefully, I learn a thing or two today and improve my gameplay. And uh, so what we're going to do first, I think, is I'm going to jump into rank, play a couple of games. He's going to critique my gameplay and probably tell me everything that I'm doing wrong. And then we're just going to go from there. So that's the plan for today. Hopefully you enjoy. Can you stream your game in Discord? Uh, I should be able to, yeah. Let me okay. Do, uh, I do this. And then this. There you go. You also get me down here at the bottom. Hooray. Oh, you're doing the OBS thing, I guess. Yeah, it's just uh, the easiest for me that way. Also, let me Nothing change my thing. So here. I need to talk to just like Everything that. Everything is ordinary. Cool idiot, so I can do that. Yeah, also let me turn off All my right. own alerts during this. I appreciate you though, Juzi. Thank you very yeah. much. And uh, Asago as well. Thank you for the four months. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, alert's gonna be muted during this, but um, I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. All right. <sighs> My rank games have not been going great lately, so this ought to be fun. Get ready for the next battle. Someone in my chat said you have a majestic voice, Lotus. Yes, I appreciate that. All right, first game. I'm expecting nothing but greatness. Uh, you buy, also, you, I'm, you, I'm not. You I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say anything as you play because I want to go back on the replays. So I'm, sure. if you fail, I will allow you to fail. Like I said, I'm gonna break you down to build you back up. So. Can kill me, man. Round three. All right, fair. Fight. Oh, I'm so ass. To be fair, I also need to warm up and I'll just jump straight into this. But that's, you know what? That's not good over there. Two of those rounds we straight up sold. I could, I think we should be able to beat Round this person. One. But, so. Fight. Bro, I feel like that down two should be reactable, but I just never react to it. Yeah. 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 
Okay, we somehow survived that round. What if, right? Okay, he didn't fight. I feel like battle. I want to see at least at least two more games, mm -hmm. like two more full sets, because then that gives me a lot to go over in replays and stuff as well. Sure, um, sure. And I'm not going to say anything still. <laughs> I bet, bet. Oh, so my fault for not being as attentive chat. I was trying to lock in, but yeah, you know, we, we going to call that the warm up. No, nah, fuck the, the chat. Lock in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's Oscar. You know what? I ain't really too stressed about Oscar. I just... She be doing parry and you can't check it no more. That's, that's the only thing. Oh, come on, demotion match. Hooray! Fight. We're gonna pretend that was on purpose because it hit. Final round. 
fight. Okay, we avoid demo. That counts for something, right? <laughs> no. I didn't think so. He's not impressed, chat. Round one. Fight. Oh, so terrible in the video game. Why am I getting hit by every launcher today? I can't block to save my life. Look, I'm actually playing worse than usual. Literally, I'm just eating any and every launcher. Not okay, but it's okay. not fine but it's fine i'm just the luckiest player ever we did not deserve to win that but we take those get ready for the next battle they say deserving of victory is a concept that is something that is decided by the victor if that's the case you know what i earned that <laughs> yeah yeah i made mistakes they just made more clearly exactly exactly all right, one more set, and then we'll look over the replays for a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, you're doing for the next battle. a job. <laughs> Round one. Fight. Cool. <laughs> cool.
die for this, surely, right? No, not off of a low parry. Loki, No way. <laughs> Yo, okay, for sure. I mean, that's what I get for trying to be a scrub, but no, wait a minute. I I thought if I stayed on the ground for a moment, I'd be safe. I was like, you know, he might do like down three or something. I won't die. And I forgot what type of character I'm up against because it's King and you're never safe against King. Whether you're in the air, or on the ground, standing up, doesn't matter. It's just, you know, there are, there are no safe places against this character. If you're just gonna constantly try to mash jabs or down one the entire time, I'm just competing with that down full light. Thank you, that's something I haven't been using a lot. Dare you. Oh my god, that's power crush! Me, I feel like King, I can do this. Shining Wizard, not everybody can do this. It's so free. I want it. Cool, 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 cool. I'm dead. Hooray!
if he blocks that or it, if he blocks that or gets hit by that, it's just it's gonna try to mash there every single time. It's either he's crouching or mashing or both. You gonna run now? Are you gonna run now? Because I kind of figured you out. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. Uh, that's that's a sign of growth. We're proud of that one. <laughs> To be honest, there was a lot in those two games anyway, so that's that's all right. That's right. all right. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. I have notes. This ought to be interesting. I can't wait to hear how awful I am at Tekken. Frankly, though, like g genuinely speaking, though, because like I, there are obvious things like I know I'm bad at, but there are a lot of things that like I don't even know where I need to improve. So, mm -hmm. um, so what I'd say, hold on, let me put. I think I think it'd be best to share my screen as i go through your replay okay because then i can go through the notes as something happens because then it doesn't look like um it helps me remember what happened okay okay i shared my screen screen then i stopped sharing it there we go can you see uh like although the frame see. rate looks a little iffy actually it's not that bad oh it's because you're in 30 fps not 60 that's why i was like okay that's fine. Fine. oh actually was okay there we go oh we know yeah now we're cooking let me go ahead and move this When you're ready to see. Wait a second. Just trying to pull this up through the stream to see. Alright. You guys can see that now, chat? Alright, I'm ready. Let's get it. So it's just because his chest is. Is mesmerizing? Yeah. Alright. Um, okay, so now hopefully we sh we are Tekken friends, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. So the first game was the Jin, right? All right. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Like people are playing so much. Like how did other people play games in that space? I was confused for a second. I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember fighting no Reyna and no Brian, but it was that many more games we played in between okay let's search for Huang versus Jin I, I wish it wasn't so hard to do you yeah, had to search for the ID it, it's so annoying mm. all right what well, I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through every single game mm -hmm. and again I'm gonna pick apart every single thing to break you down so that I can then build you back up I'm here for it that's uh, why that's, that's why I'm here that's why I called you a lot of this stuff as well was like matchup knowledge stuff, mm -hmm. which is like, you know, that comes with time experience playing the game, playing the character. Against Jin, you just want to move into the right a lot more, like just in general. I noticed that. And this was fine. Uh, it obviously should have been a back three here, but again, it's a weird situation. Yeah. You probably thought you blocked it. I, yeah, I, I is... also did not expect to be behind him. So when I was, I was like, uh, uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's just something that happens. Now, one thing, I, w I wasn't a fan of the 1-2 into Raw Flamingo and then Sweep here. Mm -hmm. um, so you did, I think you can do it sparingly, but I noticed a few times you would do like 1-2 into Flamingo. Right. And then go for an option that can be very, like, qu easily interrupted. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say if you are, if, if it is something you're going to do, like, I, I'd want to mix it up a lot with like 1-2 into right Flamingo, like, that right mm -hmm. because if you do continue to just like do like slow flamingo options um etc etc after you do that like they're just gonna start to mash right. and then if they start mashing you get a four count hit launch with the flappy kicks right mm -hmm. um so i'd say that is something i do want to see mixed up more just in general with the games but like again i think that definitely is something that i have noticed is that and I think part of this comes from the level of players that I'm fighting, but it's like certain options work so frequently 
that you get into this bad habit or like this uh this trend of doing the same things over and over and like especially as well like you're supposed to be constantly mixing up your options and like keeping your opponent guessing but it's like it's so easy for me i feel like to fall into patterns of doing these same things because it's like well it worked against so many other players i'm just gonna do the same thing the same like with any flow chart with any character i guess yeah i was gonna say as well like that is it's very clear like your what the players you're playing is the reason you do some of the stuff you do um and i think one thing i'd say is if if you're with punishment like i think that's something to work on mm -hmm. because just being so patient in these ranks i think can can pay can give such big role especially with boring mm -hmm. like here for example like whiff on down back four a back three launch here like to the wall you've got the wall blast right there right like it's such a it's such a huge like oh how did i get cool circle back how did, how am I, why am i getting cool circle back three maybe I, it's interrupting your back dash i don't know wait let's let's go back a bit because for some reason uh, i'm getting cool circle back three instead of back three i think uh there's some situations like i think i might have done a couple times against the oscar where like I do sidestep and like back three and like a lot of times I feel like I'm looking for that but I feel like my reactions are not good enough for when I'm not looking for it I'm not ready to do it so in a situation like that yeah. it's like oh like okay it's down back four whiffs I should be able to launch that and I gotta just do it too late and then there are other scenarios where it's like okay I, if I feel like I'm being a bit slow I'll go for down four two which is obviously a bit faster but it doesn't have the range so it whiffs um okay I can't, I can't make the down back four whiff but yeah here's the thing though but like judging from what happened here you kind of, you basically reacted and blocked it and then you did a punish there so again like back three that's just an example mm -hmm. um in this situation like what you did is pretty much fine because it's so close you probably thought you had blocked it anyway right so you just did a block punish right yeah. that happens a lot um from here this is fine i like the use of throw i, I think this as like a as a flow chart um is very good to do just like down three four into the jab and then throw yeah like frame trap that's something good. i've only just started doing in like the last couple of days and i don't know if i saw you do it or something but i was like you know i was watching gameplay of other huarongs and i was like okay what are what are other options people are using and i was like why have i not been using this throw at all it's so good yeah no that's that's very good that was supposed it, to be back three i don't yeah <laughs> i don't know where my no, mind was yeah don't talk about that throw breaks that was an issue yeah that was an okay issue. i was particularly bad today at freaking throws mm. No, because I have seen you play and like throw breaking isn't is it that no, much for sure. Issue, right? For sure. It's it's not one of my strong suits, but that was that was really particularly bad today. Yeah. And I just say in general practicing throw breaks. That's something well, but was, I mean yeah, mix up situation did a mid, that's okay. That is fine. Oh, okay. Actually, okay, um, so I'm sure you have comments about this, and there's something I want to ask you about, but go on and say what you're gonna say first. So again, it was the Royal Flamingo mix up. Mm -hmm. Sure, right? um this was something i noticed a lot is i need to see safer options after flamingo period mm -hmm. um you were doing like down three four and stuff it worked it worked a lot against the asako it works asako, a lot right? against a shit ton of players that's how i made it this far yeah. <laughs> but it is like look at that like when I, there were times i saw it and i was like oh boy so um, and that's the thing yeah. too is that i got so liberal with my use of it because so very few players that i fight punish it at all and then when they do it's like they do like a 10 frame punish i'm like okay why do i have why should i feel scared to use this option then see that's fine and i understand that um it's just it it, it hurt my eyes to see a few times i bet but the thing uh, i want to ask you though is that so i obviously i use it a lot from like right flamingo i noticed that you use like i feel like the majority of the time i see you go for a launch out of flamingo it's up forward four from left flamingo why do you use that more than you use the right flamingo up forward four I think that's mm, oh because I, I end up in left flamingo more i think right um so say like say i'm in a situation where like i did a combo mm -hmm. and like i ended like say i ended the situation right like say i let me just say i did like a combo here right um so i'll just take over the after the down forward two this was a good frame trap by the way uh more of that so say i like did a combo here right i did forward three i'll end up in left flamingo like this mm -hmm. And then if I want, that's my mid launcher, right? Because it's his only mid launcher from right flamingo now. Um, his hunting hawk is now basically doesn't launch anymore. Um, right. Mm -hmm. 
and I, I like I don't it's mind not, taking it's, the risk. It's not just you either. Like I feel like speed kicks is also the same, but like he uses that one way more. And I was like, I went to training mode, and I was like, I can't really understand the the difference between it. Like, is it just a situational thing, or is like I'm just in this position more, or what? But yeah, uh, yeah what I'd say is it, it probably just comes down to I end up in left like I'm in left finger more in these situations, and then if I think they're gonna duck, I like going for that. It also gotcha. looks nice as well. I mean, it, is, it, is, it, it, it looks yeah. way cooler than the other one, but I just <laughs> because I use it so much just from straight up like down three, four situations like that. I was like, this is just the one I end up using more. But safer yeah, options is definitely in... something I should be implementing more. Yeah, but that's I'd end up more in that situation, end up doing left mid up forward four. Um, but yeah, just in general, like safe mids from Flamingo. Um, but again, going back to this, um, this is fine, right? We go back to it. Down before into another one, into the jab, down for two, just a nice, just a nice frame trap, mm -hmm. you know, very nice. In general, that was one thing I noticed. And when we go back, to, when we go over to the King games, you'll really understand what I mean by it. But like, again, good frame trap, um, good combo, bang, 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 hey. He was staying down, which is interesting. Um, did you sell this round? Oh, yeah. Probably. I think I did, actually. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was just... <laughs> So how do we get here? I think it was just forward forward two, right? So yeah, he did a get up kick and then what happened? Oh, you tried to heat bust. I did. And that got me hit by the demon paw. And then it was just downhill from there. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is this, this game is, this game is snowball. This is because again, like it. from the forward forward two, like look at the health he gets back first and foremost. You're basically right. even I, now, but I hate the amount of great life in this game, by the way. Like, I understand yeah, why it's same. there. I just don't like the amount of it. Same. Um, but yeah, he gets all this health back. It's basically even, but he technically has a life lead because he is doing extra damage now because he's in rage. Right. Um, so Hell Sweep puts you in rage. And what happened? Down to. So the Hell Sweep situation against Jin, again, this is another matchup thing. Like, it's pretty much a mix up, right? Like, if you think he's going to do down two, you get up and block. That actually whiffs. Yeah, it whiffs, so you get straight back up. And if you get back up, he'll do forward forward two instead. I mean, because he's in heat, it's going to fully launch you. Um, yeah, it's just, it's an awful situation, to be honest. Like, yeah, 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 literally, I got hit by the demon pawn. It's like, all right, I'm guessing for the rest of the round, and I was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And down two hit, and then it was just another hell sweep, really. Yeah. And I can see you tried, I saw you tried to react there. I saw the down back, so. If just chilling this game, being annoying. Combo drop happens. Now here. <laughs> I was like, surely he won't do it again. <laughs> he just kept doing it. It was one of those situations where like, all right, he's not gonna just keep doing this. And then he did. And I was like, okay, buddy. <laughs> and I got mad and just matched the get up kick. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to say about it. Just <laughs> the, listen, bro. I know we don't have to talk about yeah, that situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Third break. Do you use you play on pad, right? Yeah. You use a do you use a bind to break throws. Uh, I mean, I have a one plus two bind, but obviously, if it's a one throw or two throw, it's individual. But I'm if not. If it's one plus two, do you use a bind? Yeah. Okay. Because I was just it was like just clean one plus two inputs. Yeah. Right, heat burst. Oh, not a fan of this heat burst. Um, Why did I heat burst here? What was my thought process? Hold on. I think it was just desperation. I was down. I was like, I want something to help give me momentum. And it was just a random heat burst. Yeah. Um, now, this is something I I say all the time. Mm -hmm. I fuck out myself. Um, but like, I just think in this situation with all the gray life you have your objective should be focusing on a heat engage instead so that's because something so remember i said i i think i'm terrible at using heat i honestly I, and i think like i've noticed this but didn't really like like commit how do i how do i say it's not something that like, i really understood or like acknowledged and like had in my head but like yeah when you use a heat engager you regain that chunk of life and that like I, I've witnessed that, but it didn't click in my head. It's like, oh, I should be trying to look for this in matches until I saw, I heard you say it yesterday, I think on stream. And so that's just something I haven't like been actively considering and doing in my gameplay yet. Also, I, I noticed that you use down forward uh, three plus four a lot, and I don't use that move almost ever. So <clears throat> I think it's kind of a shit move, but it's good and bad because 
it's good and bad but i it depends right mm -hmm. um because again it's your it's your follow-up now after 4 1 plus 2 because 4 1 plus 2 is not a launcher anymore mm -hmm. um which makes me profoundly sad you and i both um so that's your follow-up now um when i'm in heat like i love using it if i have like, so say I do a heat engager and I dash in, right? I love using it just because... Oh, I'm not controlling the replay. Cool. Uh, because if it hits, cool. Let's go from there, right? And on block... There you go. Like, well, plus 18 here because his back's to the wall, but it's plus 5 in the open. Right. And it's, like, it's just like a safe mid that's doing all this chip damage. And then I have my mix up from then. Obviously, if their back's still like plus 18, like they can't even low parry by doing low. They have to block the low. Right. Um, like I think it, I think in heat, it's a nice option to have, especially like if I do like something a while sitting 4 4 on hit, like it's a frame trap, go from there, right? So I really do like it in heat. I never even thought about that, using it after while sitting 4 4. That's something I have risk. For sure, but I never even considered it as an option. Like I hadn't really had like many ideas for what I should be doing after while rising four four because I had been getting mashed like after that a lot, and I was like, okay. And that's only just yesterday I started exploring. Okay, what are my other options after this to keep people from just like pushing whatever the fuck they want to push? Yeah. Um, frame traps in general. That's something I've been trying to learn more about the last few days. No, yeah, frame traps is very big, and against King, you'll see. You'll see why it was such a... Actually, I'll go to the King game now since we're talking about it. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was, the, was it the first or second game. I didn't make a note of that. I just said King. <laughs> 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 the note just says King. Um, well, says the first, first game I round. lost, the second game I won, if that's any indicator. She says first round the King. <laughs> I'm going to assume that meant the first game. That's what I'm going to assume that means. Uh, I'm going to assume it was first game. Oh, I meant to do right. Actually, it doesn't matter. Around 30 seconds in. If it's not this one, I, it, it happened a lot against King though. So I think in both games, so I should be able to see the option anyway. So it was around 30 seconds in. Okay, yeah, it happened. All right, so here mm -hmm. you could have killed with frame trap, right? Like, yeah, down point is a frame trap here. Mm -hmm. Um, but so where are we? I'm people just. Oh, is this where you would have done? Because I've noticed you've done this, but it's not something that I've, I've looked into in practice or like you. Oh, is is it? What is it? Is it the two down threes? Four, four. Oh, wait, down forward four. Oh, down really? forward four into the into the two three. Yeah. Okay, that's that's what that is. Right. And then that so gives I you wall think... splat, and then I could have killed them. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I that's. I'm I just realized I'm controlling King. Yeah, that was a situation that, like I've seen you do, but I haven't like studied what that situation is and what the actual. Yeah, that I've seen you do that a bunch of times, yeah. but I hadn't actually learned how to do it myself yet. Yeah. So. Like this happened a lot. Right. against king there were times i'd see you do like this exact situation mm -hmm. like you get this exact situation let me make a note of this myself that that is actually one of the major things i've been seeing you doing that like i haven't like clipped and like okay what's happening here how is he consistently getting this wall splat because i see you use yeah. that a lot against everybody basically because there were so many times you would do you'd do it and you do down forward one and i'd see it was a counter hit down forward one and i was like okay but you could have killed right mm -hmm. and that's important because i think you lost this round. Probably. <laughs> and then he does a rage art here, and then I forget exactly what happens. I think he did end up winning this round. Alpha one two didn't punish. Oh, okay, no, no that was fine. Actually, and I remember that I liked this because I remember I was talking to myself and I said forward forward four. I remember I said that. Because again, like like I mentioned early with the down forward three plus four. Um, it's a situation where, where you are right now, mm -hmm. 
Like, yeah, that's a good heat burst. And where you are now is like... Okay, if you do forward, 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 and say he blocked it, because mm -hmm. I'm assuming you did it into heat dash, right? Yeah. Like, he's... Look at that health. You know? Right. And then... But well, you got... You were fine because it hit, so he died anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So again, that was a good use of heat there. I think down back four is a bit slow to use as a round, op as a round opener, but th this is like, I'm really nitpicking right now. I just want you to know that. Like I'm really nitpicking, um, but down back four is a bit slow to use a round opener. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Why did you get jabbed there? Fair enough. Um, in this situation, like what you can do if you want to be cheeky. And I, I think this might work a lot in where you like, cause just watching some people are playing now. I think this might work a lot. If you did this, I like, just do it again. You know, sometimes you I know? do, but what I need to practice is that I'm not good at like confirming that counter hit. <laughs> That's the thing. I think it is kind of confirmable in this game because of the sound cue. Right. Um, and, and like, I feel like it should be because like, cause like it's such a loud and audible cue, but I'm not very good at it. I just need to practice it, I guess. I think like a lot of things I saw as well as like muscle memory experience type things that would mm. literally just come with time and more you play. So. But like, yeah, and then did he muscle bust? Yeah, he did muscle bust. He got muscle busted on, that's crazy. Hey, young. Oh, this is the thing. I, do, I didn't see enough right before it. I didn't see enough of it. You know what's funny? I, I feel like I normally use it a lot more, but you're right. I didn't. I wasn't using it very much. <laughs> and I did it a second you. time. He fucking grabbed <laughs> me out of it. Fucking. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I, remember, I, I remember specifically just having me like, yeah, okay, all right, brother. <laughs> so like, I think when it when it comes to the right for four down for three mm -hmm. is you will get a lot of respect for it more than you should because it's, it's plus it's one. It's only plus one, but people act like it's plus 10. I love it. Yeah, <laughs> it, honestly. Um, however, if you do find people are jabbing earlier, I think it's very important to do your best to just make them respect it. Because right. if people are just jabbing over and over again, it's like, okay, like, just do a frame trap. Do a jab. Right. Very simple, right? Like, he doesn't have any, like, particularly strong frame traps um, from it, right? Because Sony plus one, he's in right. But wait. I'm just trying to think, like, there's nothing really scary as a frame trap here. The jabs are good though. Like it, it'll just keep them on their toes. The frame trap doesn't even have to be that scary. I just have to do a better job of like, okay, if this is somebody who's mashing there, consistently make them pay. It's like, if you're going to push a button here, you're going to get hit. Even if it's not yeah. a lot, like I'm keeping you in check. Yeah. I'd say it actually, well, this, is, this isn't a frame trap. It's a fast option. Um, you can also do the one throw as well if you're super fast. Like, because Huarang's one throw is, which I don't think I've seen you do by the way, is Quarter 11 back frames. Two. Quarter circle back three. I mean, yeah, three. That's what I meant. I use it, but I don't use it nearly as much as you do. I didn't use it yeah. at all during these matches, but yeah. Because it's 11 frames. That is fast for a command throw, right? Um, very few characters have 11 frame throws. Yoshi does, but like it's not. Normally they're 12 frames, right? Mm -hmm. um, but like, it's a good option. It's not a frame trap though. But again, like if you feel if they are just interrupting a lot, just jabs into a flamingo option something like that right you will find people mm, no yeah i'd say focus focus like because here's the thing it's about reacting to what your opponent's doing like here mm. I, this is the first time you did it in the game right i think the first time i saw you do it so i don't blame you for doing it again i think the king player was wild for doing a throw I, <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> he was just like king, fuck it King is the only character that will get rewarded for this because he has air throws. Yeah. Um, had this been another character, you would have your heat engage and gone from there. But yeah, he would have just King. gotten hit. And, and that's why I did it twice. Cause like I've noticed <laughs> that like most of the time for, for whatever reason, a lot of people that I fight, they like to duck after blocking at the first time, I guess, assuming yeah. I'm going to do a jab or something. And so they either respect it or they duck or like, or like they'll try to match something and get hit. But <laughs> that expect a fucking throw. That's for yeah, sure. It, he was wild for doing that, I'm gonna be honest. So, and then from here. So, I think this is something that is a do. I do this as, as well myself. Mm -hmm. um, if they whiff the ground throw, I keep controlling King by accident. Um, if they whiff the ground throw, like, 
you can fully launch. But again, it requires you to have guessed right on the option, then woken up and then done it right. Right. Um, but this is just a be aware type situation, right? Yeah, I think I just uh, underestimated just how punishable that was. I was like, you know, that's yeah. a, like he whiffed, but I was like, can I really launch this? And clearly I can. But in the moment, I was like, I don't know if I've got time for that. I mean, here's the thing. I say this, but I never did it against Marduk once in Tekken 7. Like, I was aware. Yeah. I knew I could do it. I never did. But it's just something that is better if you know mm -hmm. uh, than if you don't know. Mm, can I? Can I? Right? It's better right. if you know than if you don't. But like, yeah, me, myself, I didn't even do it. So, all right. Two, one, two. What did you do? We did two, one. You did back one. Of course I did. I'm a scroll. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so King's 2 1 was it's like plus 9, I'm pretty sure. Alright, plus 8 on hit. Um, in this situation, yeah. like, it's King, it's annoying after 2 1 hit. Because mm -hmm. it, like, listen, I got someone, I'm, I'm about to get a bit annoyed. I had someone in my comment section who was saying, like, King's not that bad. He doesn't have frame, he doesn't have like, he has like one frame trap. And I'm like, bro, <laughs> if he lands, if he has, if he lands 2 1, he's plus 8. Right. He's, he has 11 frame throws. Like, I hope you're anyways, ready to guess. Sorry. Like, I, I don't. Two, one. I don't understand the insane down. Well, I guess, I guess to some extent I do because a lot of the downplay comes from people who aren't that good or aren't that knowledgeable about what they're talking about anyway. It's so like even if they earnestly believe what they're talking about, it's like, well, you're just wrong. But whatever. Yeah, but like King two one on on hit, like you just gotta guess. Actually, if he did, if he did back one. Actually, hold on. Let's go back. So if he had done back one, you know, you would count hit. Which is funny because this is a confirmable count hit, by the way. Um, Yeah, but like this he is a situation against, against King where like pretty much everything is like in his favor. Like... I mean, what, if, he, if he did do a one throw, because you were mashing back one, you would have broken it. Um... <laughs> But yeah, this is a situation with King where like you really after two one that, after huh? two one and hit, just, you just have to hold it. You have to one thing like if you think he's gonna two one again, you could high crush. I lied. You can't high crush. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about that. Um. Okay. I guess I think the crushing starts like three frames and because it's tight. Yeah. And in this game, I'm really bad even... about doing that, by the way. I've seen like you and Speakix both do that. And there was another player. I don't remember if it was Muse or some. There was one of one of it, it was definitely one of the the Asian Huarongs. I don't know if he was Japanese or Korean, but they used to use uh, while standing three a ton. And it made me like use it more in Tekken 7. Yonering. It was Yonering. OK, yeah. Um, And like I was like, yo, is this move really that good? <laughs> and it is, but like it, I, I'm I'm bad at using it in like a situation like that where it's like a micro duck into an instant like while sending three. Like I, yeah. Now that's something hard. again that comes with time and mm -hmm. just really believing in your read. Right. I mean that's like a huge thing. Um, but also like in this situation now because they've nerfed the stuff of parries, you can't even punch by the two one. Like if you get hit by two one, you just have to hold it. And yeah, and also while sending three is unsafe in this game, so that's another thing. Um, so what happened here? Fight. To close that out. Wait, what? Oh yeah, because the round was long. Um. Okay, so two one two one. You got hit again. Bump. So he's plus three again. I forgot that was plus in the moment. Yeah, I forget all the time, so I can't even say anything about that. He tried to two one, but he messed up the input because inputs in this game make no sense, and he just did it again. Okay. Not really anything. Down for four. I you just messed my... up back pressure a few times. Yeah, I did that way more than usual today. I'm upset, but whatever. It's not like the combo I was going to get here was ridiculous anyway, but. So I think oh. when it comes. Hmm? I was going to ask. Uh, So after like forward four heat dash, right? So let's say you get a raw forward four and you heat dash after. What are you doing for a combo after that? Because I've just been doing down three four into up forward four. Yeah, I think it was it was either this game or the other game you did it. And I was going to get to that when it happened. Okay. Well, we can get to it when it happens then. 
Yeah, we'll get to it. But let's go back to this combo here. So this, the reason you're dropping this is because you're not doing the buffer. Yeah, I, bro, I've been practicing. I swear I have. I, I'm bad. <laughs> so, I have been practicing, but I just, and, and then especially like practicing it is one thing and I'm not even that good at doing it in training mode. And then when I get into the match, I just default to my old ways anyway. Yeah, no, again, time, practice, experience, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but like the moment, so with Huang, what I do is the moment I get this situation, the tornado, I'm mm -hmm. holding, you see that? I'm holding four. Yeah. I'm holding four or I'm holding three, like straight away. So I can run up and then do it like that. So then it just comes, then it, that's what, that's how it can come. That's what makes it comes out, come out super smooth. Mm -hmm. Is the hold there. And then like, as you can see, like it's, it's a nice fluid motion. It's a stance switch and then the backlash, right? right? And then Bob's your uncle, right? So again, I'd say what I'll do is like I'll make down a I'll write down a list of things that are super important when it comes to the buffer. Mm -hmm. Like the most important thing is the moment you tornado, if you are doing combo, you can backlash after, is hold four, don't let go of forward, and then you press three as well to get the switch. Oh, hold on. So hold four, don't let go of forward. Then it's forward to tap the three as well. And then it's like a nice smooth thing. I think the cardinal rules are hold four. Don't let go of forwards. Yeah, those are the most those are the two most important things. And then once you start practicing with those things in mind actively, you'll be good. Alright. And this should happen less. He's sprinting. I can't lie. This king player was doing a lot. This was okay. So back one, two. Didn't duck the second here. Also, this is minus that minus 13. I didn't know that. Um, but like just a 4-3 punish, you know. That's where. But again, like I said, there's like character matchup things right. that like come with time, experience, knowing the character, knowing the game, watching your replays, etc., etc. I think what happened here is you tried to react to this animation back three, right? Yeah, and I do that yeah. a lot. I feel like against moves like that, where they cover way more ground than I expect them to. So I'm like in yeah. my head, I'm like, oh, this is about the whiff. That's about to be a free punish. Or I'm thinking, I depending on how quickly I react, what I can interrupt. And sometimes I'm right, and then. A lot of times I'm wrong. I'm like, okay, that went a lot further than I thought it was going to, and I yeah. end up getting hit for it. All right, that's fine. Uh, no duck on forward to one again. Character matchup thing. I don't even know what I don't even know what that was. <laughs> um, I don't know that what that was. Here. All right, two one down forward. That's minus ten. You were late on the punish, but you tried to punish. Punish that. How did we end here? Oh yeah, and you tried to guess me. Like, okay, yeah. so here, so you're working at a big life deficit. Mm -hmm. Two one, he's plus. So you just block the next mix up. That was fine. You were late on your punish, so knowing that they've tried to punish, that's okay. So down three four, switch stance. Down three four again. This is fine. Like again, this is the type you have to take these risks to make these comebacks. So right, jab now, nice bait at that. Now, I want to see a 4-3 punish instead, honestly. Right. And I'd I've been four. trying to use 4-3. I, I basically, again, I, I think I was making mistakes that I, don't, I normally don't do, but like I default normally more to 4-3 than I do to a jab punish anyway. And it's, yeah. it's a one frame difference. It's like, okay, if this was only 10 frames, I guess I'm giving up that punish. But I look at that 16 damage is negligible anyway, just because I yeah. just feel like the 4-3 is so much more rewarding. Something else I'm also working on is that like when I do try to punish something that might have been like only 10 frames is like doing four, three, hold forward, you know what I'm saying? And then just going hmm. to stance and but yeah. I'm I'm not I'm not nice like that yet. That's okay. So punish there, down three four, switch stance. You tried to down three four again from those things, but you got three four, but it's okay, didn't duck. Did the sweep again. Like again, this is the type of stuff you have to do to make these comebacks. You have to take the risks. Yeah, and that's the risk I was taking at the end with finishing the string. I was like, please mash here, get counter hit, and yeah. he didn't. No. <laughs> I, I do this all the time. It's okay. Um, then he heat bursted, and then... So here's the thing when King's in heat, mm -hmm. he's just got to wait for this bullshit. He's well, so I know, right? Because I think it's one of the best heat smashes in the game, and I was like, maybe if I kill him before he can use yeah. it, I don't have to worry yeah. about it. I was like, if I could just get so him to eat this forward four, or forward forward four, so I approach this in two different ways. One, when we're here, I just kind of just like, I'm just going to wait for it. But the other way is to just keep trying to like overwhelm him mm -hmm. and just play frame tight so he doesn't get the chance 
to get that. Oh my gosh, why is this? Look at this motion blur. What the? What the yeah, hell that, is this? You where'd that bokeh come from, bro? That's <laughs> bad okay. cinematic. I have, have to make a thumbnail with it. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's just overwhelming him to the point he just doesn't get a chance to do it. Just frame trap, frame trap, frame trap, right? Right. Um, the other thing you can try and do is, which is you can just try and like try and sidewalk it to the right, but like. I have never you successfully see. done that. Yeah, no, I, I have tried before. <laughs> I've never successfully done it. I get hit every time. Well, like, as you can see, even in Paul Haring, just listen to him scream. Just um, straight agony and misery. Yeah. Like, his tracking isn't fantastic either way, but, like, it depends on when he does it. If you do not time your sidestep right, that happens. Also, the further away he is, the better the tracking. So, do with that information what you will. It is genuinely an awful move to play around when he's in heat. Just oh God, just block it and then I'd say, yeah, you just have to block it and then just go from there. Right. And then when you do block it, then you have to take this bullshit mix up. As I would well say yeah, just, just block it and guess. Yeah. <laughs> and hope you guess right. Thing, you can react to the throw, um, but you can't react to any other option. And he also has a lows out of it as well. Um, See, that's so, why I feel like it's worth it, to me. Like my mindset in that mix up is like it's worth it to just block low, bro, because like I'll duck the throw, I'll block the low. And if I get hit with the mid, whatever, like in, in a situation like so, that, I'm going to die for it. But it's not like I'm going to die for it. If I'm at like half health or something like that or like a, a third. But yeah, I, I feel um, like well, I, I, I was like, well, crouching is going to be two out of the three options here. So that's what I banked it on. But yeah. you. I was no, still wrong. It very, much, <laughs> it very much depends on your philosophy, right? If you, the only options you can punish are the low and the throw. Mm -hmm. um, everything else is safe for some reason. Um, so I think in that kind of situation, when again, like he has the life lead, or it's about even on life, it's, it's a guess for game situation. Like you just have to, <laughs> you just have to guess right if you want to live. Um, but also it comes down to, so me, for example, like I have a philosophy when it comes to strings with highs in it, right? Mm -hmm. um, take, for example, so Savina, she has down forward one, two and down forward one, four. Mm -hmm. um, so the full, the full mid is down forward one, two, one. That's mid, mid, mid. And if she does the first two mids and does the last mid, the last mid's not natural. Um, but if she has down forward one, four, that doesn't gel when you can duck it. My philosophy in that kind of situation is if she does down forward one, I kind of always want to duck. Because if she does, if she ducks, I can get a punish. Right. If she ducks, I can launch her for it. But if she does the mid and then the lot, if, if she does the mid and I duck, the last mid is not guaranteed. So the reward in that situation, where I get the most reward is from ducking. And if I get hit by the second mid, it's just a bit of damage, whatever, who cares, go from there. Mm -hmm. Right? In this situation against King, the only time you'll get a reward is if you duck the high or the low and you punish from there. So again, it's what your philosophy is taking it from there. Um, and again, it's just guess right because King in this game is listen. This isn't this is about to be a King a hate, bro. I, like I, King is a cool character. I just don't understand all the no, downplay. Go, I, I keep saying. Go I keep seeing. Fuck himself. <laughs> I mean, no, that, I feel it, but like I don't. I don't like. They I don't know what they're talking about. I hate fighting the character, but I I, I like the character, but. Fighting him is a pain in the ass, but I just don't understand yeah. the crazy downplay I keep seeing online. Yeah, I. It's like, oh, King's not even S tier, bro. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? No, it, wait, is this their King is not S tier? That's the problem. Right, right. We play Huan okay, though, so we're not allowed to have opinions on Tekken. <laughs> we're not apparently because he's what? What was it? That guy's. Listen, we're not gonna get into anyway. Bro, um, that tweet. Was, <laughs> yo, started, son. Don't get, me, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Okay. Um, so here he did. So there's a very nice thing you can do if you, if you feel like they're going to jab and they continue to jab in this situation. Mm -hmm. um, right foot forward, back four is a very nice. It's com that a is complete a move high I, crush. I do not use that move enough. It's a complete high crush in this game. And if they if they jab, like, because again, the only frame trap you have is jab. The fastest thing they can do is jab. Right. You do think they are going to jab back four in this situation is a very good option to do. Um, but again, so he just jabbed here. I think he tried to do it into itself right oh no you tried to do the down three which is fair enough right mm -hmm. like i guess this guy this guy was a bit of a mash against two one single jab nice i like i like jabbing a lot after my opponent's jabs because 
you see their jabs are plus one and a lot of people try to try to set up their entire offense with jabs right and they would like do a jab into like a 20 frame move <laughs> it's, it's like like bro you're only plus one so i i do do a lot of downfall too after my opponent jabs mm -hmm. um so yeah i think that's a good jab there again combo's fine the buffer will make it smooth but that's something to again i need to teach you the cardinal rules or two and why did this guy i mean see here's the thing mm -hmm. this this is a flow chart that works on that works a lot in tekken 7 and will continue to work in this game from the looks of things if you do forward two in this situation into back four you get a full you yeah that's I mean? that's that's actually really good and i shouldn't write that down cool. actually but i think i also just I don't know, in my head, when that happened, I was so sure he was going to get hit by that 4-2. I just immediately went in the back two. And then... He, which is which is fine. He, he jabbed and I just... Yeah. But. yeah. But again, like, forward two on block into back four. Like, this is a this is a flow chart that works. Um, So much in the last game. Clearly, it's still going to work in this game. But people love to jab after forward two because it looks... It's like a bit of a minus thing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to take my turn back. No, you're not. And then... Unfortunately, it's not a launch. Can't hit launcher anymore. You only get... I think this was only plus 13, right? I think can't hit RFF back four is only plus 13. So I keep messing up because I forget I'm controlling the replay. It's only plus 13, so this is the only thing you get. And if you are in heat, obviously, it is a big reward, but not in heat. Um, Wait, not 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 in heat. Um, let me just... All right, here we go. Um, but if you are in heat, you know, it's just that. I don't know. It's just this, right? Mm -hmm. And that's it. But again, if you are in heat, you can spend the full thing and get a nice bit of damage for it. And again, that is pretty much like a close to kill situation there, right? Um, but again, like you said, you thought he would respect it. No, you thought it would hit, actually. So you tried to. Because again, 4-2 is plus... Um, I should be able to show you, actually. It's plus 9 on hit. Mm -hmm. So again, forward two into whatever you want is fantastic, right? So again, you thought you'd get hit by it. And again, that just comes down to um, being able to react to things fast enough. Because right. there were some times where I saw you, you you did down through four and your down three got blocked. And you didn't do... Because the general thing to do after like your down through four gets blocked is do the flappy kicks forward four. Right. And you weren't reacting in time for that. But again, that's just, again, experience and time and reaction. Being that as it may, I honestly didn't know in. that's what I should be doing when it gets blocked. Okay, well, we'll actually run over that at, in a parsec at some point. Um, because again, there's there's a lot of things that, like, I think if we can get into the practice mode and, like, do things together, that would be, like, you'll be able to see. Because again, like, if we both control in the same situation, you can I can literally tell you something, you do it right there, right? Right. Um, also, like, isn't swing. the they they confirmed that they're trying to bring online training modes to the game, right? Yeah, I can't wait for so, that. If only it was here now, man, um, I was hoping. Back three. I wonder if you're fast enough. This is this is for me right now. If you're fast enough in the back three, will you get a full combo here? No, fucking anyway. <laughs> three down to four we spoke about this so i don't need to like here's the thing i want i wanted to see more and i didn't see you do it is just do down three four mm -hmm. is into back three like i wanted to see that more why because it's a heat engager or and so then you get heat just off because of it, obviously when you're in heat and so just really just because uninterruptible mid right uninterruptible mid safer mid yeah i don't and use that move enough I used it Here's more. Thing, like, I used it more when it was a launcher. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. But I think if you are just looking for a mid to do here, I think this is just a decent option uh, to go for, really and truly. Um, and again, just like if you wanted to just um, right from angle one again, because right from angle one is pretty much the same as four two minus two on block plus nine on hit. Mm -hmm. Like pretty much the same situation. Like if you are just looking for a mid, like I said, I just want I want to see a lot more safer mids. Gotcha. I'm from Flamingo, really, right? I mean, again, because you are in heat as well, heat here anyway, so it is a launcher as well. You know, if you right. wanted to go for the right from go back three, it is a launcher because you are in heat. And then if I didn't, even if you, I never it's looked a plus at it that on way. block. Yeah, it's a it's a plus on block mid launcher from here. Like I said, I'm really plus bad at using five. heat, so 
you're yeah. actually just like saying things that like I guess they 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 feel like they should have been obvious. It's like when you say it out loud, like it makes so much sense. I'm like, oh, it clicks. Yeah. But until somebody said it to me, like I just I hadn't thought about it. Yeah. Literally. And then go and again the shit damage is because you're in heat. Right. You know, I'd I'd say I do want to see right from go back through is something I want to see more. Um and P Shots, can you drill reaction time? Uh you can actually. Um a way to train. So here's the thing. I remember before so these are the Pakistanis do Joker told me this. They train blocking lows. Like if there is a reactable low, like 20 frames or more, um, you can train reacting to that low by literally so what they do is they'll go into practice mode and they'll literally just practice blocking that low over and over and over again just that low like they'll literally block it at the last second and block that low and i was like okay there's no way that works right um so what i did i went to practice mode against leo i practiced blocking leo's down for two plus three like over and over and over again usually the next time I played against richie it didn't hit once so you can literally it's literally like it's literally training, it's literally practice, it's literally drilling it. It is something that is possible, right? So, um, and someone said in chat, like, downfall four is also a good option as well. Um, it's also another safe mid to have um, out for Mingo. You sorry, know, plus so, one. Sorry, say that again. I was, I was writing something. Um, that, that just the last part, something out of Flamingo's plus or. Oh, yeah. Uh, right, 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 Flamingo, uh, downfall four after that, right? Another nice, another nice low tab. Count hit launcher if they just died smash. Plus right. one. I'm, so what are you doing after that on counter hit? If I just do back three into whatever, but if I get counter hit here, yeah, like if the counter hit uh, uh, down forward four, because when I when I do get that, I'm just doing like back three, and I guess like it just depends on like where I am with like the wall or whatever. But oh, look, he, wait, he's giving us a counter hit. Hold on, let's see if we can. I'll go to price mid later. All right. Like normally, what I'll try, what I'll do is a combo is something like down back four. Actually, I think you do forward two. I think forward two connects on counter hit for it. So it's hard for me to like like to manufacture a counter hit in, right, right. The, in the thingy, good. but like I think forward two connects and you can get very good a very good combo off that if you get it. But, so like forward yeah. two into forward three and then up through four. Yeah, yeah, yeah stuff forward. like that, right? See, I don't even have to teach you that. Right, so I, I just assumed that's what it was because like I've seen you do like that route before, but I just in my head I wasn't. Yeah. I didn't think of like what situation. It's, it's also it's also pretty much the heat engage combo. You know the raw heat engage, uh, gotcha. the raw heat dash, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so four four neutral two bullshit low. They made it faster, and now it's only minus thirteen. Um, down my three now not launch on block anymore for some reason. Ah, oh, here perfect. It was here. Cool. Um, so this is the combo I pretty much do after heat dash now. <laughs> and then in, I into fuck with that. Four. like it's vet like i saw edge do this and i was like there's no way this is the combo right but like that's pretty much it into up forward four you'll get your tail flip and then backlash from there um i think you can also do like other things for walker like you do like this instead well, actually i can't show you because he dies um but did you kill with the combo anyway that's the important thing i'm pretty sure i did Yeah, I just went in a rage art. I guess. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I'd say doing that. I'd say doing just combo optimization in general. That's the thing. So it was, um, what is that? That was 4 2 4 3, 4 2 4 3, 4 2, and then what? Up 3 4? It's 4 2 4 3, 4 2 4 3, 4 2 4 3, 4 2 4 3, 4 2 4 3, up 4 4. Wait, how many can you do again? I'll go to I'll, I'll, I'll go to Brightman. It's like it's, it's it's four two four three twice, and then you end with four two, and then no, you can do like three or you can do like three times. I think oh, you can do it three times. Jesus, that's nuts. <laughs> because that's the thing when you when you do raw heat dash combos in this game, raw you heat get dash, so many more hits in the combo. There's the scaling is insane, See, and that's and that's another reason why like I'm just when it just comes to the heat mechanic in general, I just feel like I'm ass at using it. But especially like when it comes to the combos and shit off heat dash, I'm like I don't, I don't have anything. And like I've seen them, but I hadn't like learned them yet. Nah, genuinely like there's a lot. All right, nice stuff. Nine three four. This is fine. Did you lose this round? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because the the next game I won, and if you left. Oh, big. Okay, this is big. Um, I think this is something that comes with time and just just having the awareness to know that, like from here, I can I know this heat bus is going to whiff. You need to be able to punish that. Yeah. I think like you need to be aware because here's the thing. What I would do in this situation is the moment I see heat bus, I'm just going to back through now because I know from this range, 
I know from so, this range that I, if he cancels it or does it, back three's that that's three's definitely dead. space. Because like, I've, I've back three plenty of people for whiffing their heat burst, but I just I didn't expect that one to whiff. And so when it did, yeah. I just wasn't ready. And then when yeah. I saw it did, I was like, oh, fuck, uh, let me forward, forward, forward. Which is a terrible option, but in the moment, that's my brain defaulted but, to. But it's it's a long range with punish. So again, like if you did react late, it is a, and it's safe as well, right? Yeah. Again, you did try and with punish it, but like I think because he busts is so ridiculously fast in this game. Right. Um, you just have to know the spacing, right? You have yeah. to know from where from where we are. You have to know from here that the moment you see this, it's gonna win. I yeah, but there's also like the chance that he canceled it, and I was also considering that. And I if guess I could pro I probably at that range I still could have whiffed it, but I I wasn't confident in the spacing, so. Yeah. But his, even if he did the cancel and you did back three, you're going to hit him. That's the thing. Fair. Uh, but again, that just could come from knowing where you are in this situation that if he does it, like back three, it wins. Back three is checkmate, right? Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's hard because even like even now when I my safe, my safety blanket is rage out. If I'm in rage and I see heat burst from a certain rage, I'm gonna mash rage up because <laughs> because it goes now, forward I've, enough. I've done it multiple times myself, so like I get it. <laughs> I, just, yeah. I, I didn't expect that, to hear you say, but I was like, yeah, I did the no, same shit on the side. That is my safety blanket. The amount of rounds I've won because my opponent does heat burst. <laughs> I did rage. Yeah. It is actually it, pretty funny. It's it's safety blanket. Now, what did he do here? Did he did he heat burst heat smash? Of course he did. He's a king player. Okay. Oh yeah. I tried to not guess, and I was like, "Let me, let me be scrubby, like surely." And no, the throw the was that one, throw was like, "Where the fuck do you think you're going?" Back one doesn't beat any option after he smash. I yeah, I was praying. <laughs> you, <laughs> that was a prayer, you, a prayer that you, didn't work out. You have to guess. Um, but again, you can react to the throw. Um. But it's like it's, fuck this situation. Anyway, um, I like this gal gal kick because again, gal kicks are safe in this game for some weird reason. Yeah, I um, I almost don't like it because like I feel like it makes me use them even more. But it's like, well, why not? So it's good for Warren though because I'm not getting can't hit launch anymore for gal kicks. Yeah. Um, now you're plus. Wow, what a okay. Here's the thing: you are plus seven here, so. While setting 4 4, I think, is, is the obvious choice. Mm -hmm. But, like, in most situations, you should be fine. It's just that you have to be playing against King, is why you got punished for this, right? Yeah. Like and earlier when I did down 4 3 twice, and they did a throw! Yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. Um, and also, I think here you are, I know, like, once King does this parry, you have to guess the throw mix up afterwards. Yeah. And I, what I was thinking here, I think I said it in the moment, I was like, okay, at work, like, I just wanted to stay on the ground for just a moment to just. Yeah weigh the situation i was like okay at worst I'm, he's gonna do what like down three most likely and then no. he threw me and i uh, died <laughs> after this part you have to guess the third race. i'm pretty sure this is the two option Whoa. okay yeah you have to mash it like it's so it's because the break window is weird like mm -hmm. so the moment you're in so the moment you get parried and you're in this situation you have to just guess your option right um, the moment you're right here, right. and my advice in situation is the two throw, the two option does more damage, so it's smarter to look to be breaking two more often than not when you're here. Right? right, the two option is the more damaging option. That's the leg lock, and then the one option is where he just headbutts your crotch, which a king player is less likely to do because again less damage. I expected you, it to be the the headbutt because I feel like that's what most of the players I fight go for because most of the king players I fight don't know i think that the two options more damage they just default to the yeah headbutt one but knowing that moving forward is definitely useful yeah but again it's like because of the break window like when you're hit just mash whichever one you think it is just mash you know you can't get out of this and again if you break like it's a weird break window but like yeah just mash whichever option you think it is and then go from there mm -hmm. but again two option does more damage and then you wake up and you go from there right um, but anyway, well, that's the end of that game anyway. Um, but yeah, that was, I, I feel like it was, it's good hearing your, what you take from, uh, the games as well. 
mm -hmm. because it's interesting to know why you're doing certain things and then it's it, it makes it easier to take you out of that habit if it is a very like bad reason like for example we did back one after the heat smash just like it's not gonna work no matter what he does <laughs> right which is i don't know why they have that in this game oh yeah this is this was this was it as well count hit count hit again count hit again count yes. hit again yeah 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 so this is just like this was when i was really like oh my god because again like, please just kill him <laughs> like literally like if you what go for the jab here this was dead if you did it earlier like you had it was it was counter hit city really and truly it was counter hit city i um, think that right there is one of the very big pieces i was missing from like my pressure and my ability to kill other players because like while i recognized that he was mashing so first of all just the fact that he was even mashing there i let him get away with that a lot in the first game right i adapted to the fact that he was doing that and just started using way more down forward one i was getting the counter hit so that already for me is a big step but then the next step is like killing him for it right because i got all those yeah. counter hits and didn't like capitalize on yeah. it so i think for me that's another this, huge piece to add this is something people ask me a lot is like how do i deal with people dick jabbing is like this is a very common situation for people to dick jab off down three four into two very common for them to dick jab he didn't do it there but like he did eventually right and then this is so huge because you go from this situation here to dash in for some free pressure you right. know and then go from there i mean i can't wave dash but <laughs> The practice makes perfect you know what it is I, i'm waiting for the day so i'm not great when it comes to execution in fighting games i think that much is apparent right but there are certain things that like i'll never be able to just from skyrocket though <laughs> never never say never but there there's a lot of things in fighting games that like always felt impossible to me and like one day it just kind of like magically clicks like playing base vegeta for example in dragon ball fighters right like his loop combos and stuff for two years i could not do those combos Two years I wanted to play that character and I couldn't because I just couldn't do the combos. And then one day I was just sitting here like off stream, off camera in training mode and it just it just clicked. And like I've been waiting for the day that like wave dashing and back dashing just clicks for me because like I practice it all the time. And it's like I'm just not just not getting it. And I just I truly believe that one day it will just click. It just hasn't hit. I one thing I'll do is after this we'll go. I want you to go to practice mode and then stream it to me. Mm -hmm. um because i want to see your inputs as well and then maybe that will help um yeah, okay no why did back three not he's in the air you should have okay whatever fucking that's what i'm taking from this and yeah that was that was the only criticism i have besides all the count hits which again like you need to see because again it, I, I want you to focus focus on the counter you see the counter lit up there? Yeah. Focus on how many times it lights up. <laughs> like it is lighting up yeah, quite a bit. It's, I saw that. It didn't used to do that. That little flash it's doing is that new? In this yeah, that, that was that was made after the uh, after the update that came with the shop. I, I like that. that as well. Right? Like you had left a lot of damage on the table. I'd say you just have to. You have to start doing down for four. The only criticism I have here is just like not waiting for Kane to use his heat, his heat smash. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> of course he did it, man. But anyway, you killed, so it's fine. Um, but of course, he just God king in this game. All right, I thought for heat engage. Uh, one thing I want to see, I think would be good, mm -hmm. is using more impactful options after a heat engage. Such um, as. So you did. What do you do here? Because like, I'll, I'll be honest with you, like my only two options. Okay, I have like three options I ever use after the heat engage. It's like down three, four, forward two, or like down forward two. That's like all I ever use. I would say never use forward two. Okay. Um, I'd say just to simplify it to like for now, just to to focus on like the best options you can do. I'd say never use forward two. I would say your best options. To me personally, this is more of a personal choice. I like to do up four. Well, I, what, I'll, what I'll also say is that the reason why I use forward two and I, I pretty much only ever use it in like closing out round situations or like close to the round being over because I use down three, four so much. My opponents are always looking for that low 
and then I just mm -hmm. go for that mid and it just closes out the round. Um, so yeah, you know, it's it's safe. It's it's not terribly slow. So that's the option I pick a lot, which there are better options. Like I could be doing like down forward one three or whatever, but yeah. Well, technically, well, you're you're right and you were wrong at the end there. Um, if you, so basically I'd say in that situation, what you're saying there, I'd say four two is fine, mm -hmm. right? To close out the round, you've done a lot of, you've done a lot of like four two is fine. Down four one three is more of a risky option to close Because out it leaves you in Flamingo? Yeah. Um, but again, so here's the thing with, with down four one three in this game is you can now, you down four one three into like this, that's really good now. Um, down for one three into back one still exists as a cheeky round in though. Up for three plus four into this is also a lot of cheeky round in this now. Um, but yeah, down for one three can be like I call this the speed kick because speed kicks usually do this all the time when the game down for one three is down for one three into back one. Because if they pretty much do anything and it's on block, like unless they do like a homing move or a power crush, down for one three into back one is going to work because normally they're going to see down for one three and want to jab back one right. and kills that decent round in though. Like in this game. Uh, down forward one three into down forward three four seems to be very good. Like, I'm not sure why, but it seems to be a lot better in this game. I think because there's something about flamingos different in this game. Um, I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but flamingo is different in this game. Um, so like down forward one three on block into down forward three four is very good in this game. Gotcha. Um, and. I what also well, no down for one three is also a decent round in there because people see down for one they're like always oh, turns over then the three kicks them. Yeah, so, I've noticed that a lot where people block the yeah. down for one and get hit by the three. Yeah, so I I take back what I said there. You know what you're doing great. Um, <laughs> but like, but back to heat uh, heat engages. I'd say great options include running three. Uh, four. I saw you do four four three. I think that's also a good option because again you're plus six into. <laughs> You know, keep going from there. And again, he has other heat engages you can go to from there. So I'd say forward, forward, three, good option. Um, I think up four is good if you want to quickly get into Flamingo. Um, into right Flamingo, because right Flamingo is so good when he's in heat. Because the sweep becomes the sweep, um, all of his mids, which he has, are just oh, the chef kiss, you know? Like, cause people are gonna be so looking to duck now because the sweep, the sweep is active. Is that um, is that wall splat the situation? The, the three four. Uh, the three to the four. Yes, it will wall splat if they are back to the wall. Which I don't think he is there. He's not actually, but this might work. Hold on. Nah. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Okay. Nice. If they don't, if they don't move after that, you can dash up back three. Mm -hmm. But if they if they tech or you're dead, <laughs> um, but like yeah, I'd say after heat engage, running three is great. Forward four three is great. Up four is great. Did I say dumpty four is bad? Said so did you say it's bad? Yeah, did I say dumpty four is bad? I don't think you said that. Okay, dumpty four is also good if you want the low option. And like you said, you know you'll mix up with forward two. If it comes to a randomly situation, like again, like running three, forward, forward three. Um, what was it? Uh, up four. That's the one I do the most. How did I forget? Up four. I mean, these are the options you really want to be doing after heat engage. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously with down. So obviously with down, like here's the thing is it depends what you're looking for as well, right? You have um, up four and down three, four are your, if one is your mid to get into right flamingo, one is your load to get into right flamingo. If they do down three, four, and it hits, they cannot interrupt. If they do what, if you do up four and they block it, mm -hmm. they can do something, right? They can jab, they can do something. If you don't, if you don't do a frame trap with a jab, they can interrupt. But what makes up four so good for me is if you do find you are doing up four and they're mashing a lot, like they aren't respecting, because I do up four into the sweep a lot. Like right. I do it a lot, right? And that can be interrupted. But if you find that they are, Stopping to they aren't respecting you up for anymore. You know, flappy kicks is a normal hit launcher in right flamingo. It's not it's a normal hit launcher in That's right funny. flamingo, right? So that is your best friend. If you find they just aren't respecting your up four anymore, you have that to fall back on. And then damage, 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 because that's boring. Yeah. Running three, up four, forward four to three. I'd say 
just trying to focus on doing a smaller pool of moves after heat engage that are good mm -hmm. i think it really sets you up because again like if we do board four three it just sets you up from there for a good round you know you're plus six and then you can do like you're down three four or something get your frames up. like it sets you up so well for the rest of your heat situation mm -hmm. um so i'd say just focus on like a smaller pool of very good moves to do then you know you're golden but what you did here was like fine you know down before into the sweep is i think it's the first time you did the sweep and the first time you uh in heat in this entire set against him so good did you get the wall here you did uh in this situation dash up back three if you get the wall after the sweep yeah i've done that a couple times before i didn't expect to get the wall splat I was, I was gonna say you probably didn't expect to get the wall right i'd say you flew, you always... flew a lot further than i expected yeah because again it looks a bit weird because like you see the symbols there and it kind of looks like oh he's not gonna get it, but like yeah i wish the game was a bit wider i don't know because if you look at the symbols it kind of looks like you're not gonna hear but then you do and right. anyway side note have you ever played final fantasy 10. no for anyone that has played final fantasy 10 the symbols remind me of the glyphs in final fantasy 10. that's just something that just came to mind anyway um yeah you probably you didn't expect it that's fine because again it didn't look i understand why now here did he mash again he didn't this is the, the first time he has respected <laughs> for the first time he respected your right for forward down forward three. that's crazy um sorry where did we, how did we get here down three four the jab he ducks he was ducking a lot of the down three four like again, this is why I say like I want to see just more safer mids from down three four. Mm -hmm. He ducks, he ducks her again. We've got this. You know, you've got your down forward four, which is plus eight on here. Yeah, no, using crouch. using the back three uh, out of flamingo like in heat. Like I I I didn't think of it as a launcher, but yeah, it it literally is. And I just. Yeah. Oh, so, so he, into, so, why did he duck into anyway? <laughs> <laughs> um, Bro, like, <laughs> but he's, he's high rank. Uh, K was he's a flame roller. Clearly, he's good, um, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, I wanted to ask you though. I so, to give this guy his props. Anyway. So let's let's just say in a situation like this, right? You you're in flamingo and you you go for the back three. Are you just committing to the to the dash regardless whether like a hit or a block? He's just like, okay, I'm just gonna use it here. If it hits, cool a combo, and if not, then I I'm plus five or however plus 18 if he's at the wall or some shit like that or whatever but i'm not always coming to the launcher um but in this situation like where you are right now i'd see no reason not to right right because mm -hmm. even if he blocks it can i get him to block it oh no because he's mashing it okay hold on yeah, yeah even if he blocks it you've got that chip damage mm -hmm. you know your plus 18 you know it's your mix up again like in this situation i see no reason not to uh do the, the do the heat dash out of it but like you know i think it's it's up to your discretion really because again you have a big life lead if right. you want to keep pressing with it like if you wanted to just if you want to just from here just like keep doing this because this is just gonna like just, why did he hop? okay was that just the four uh down forward four and four two yeah, it's just two four two four two, two four, four right two, four, yeah like because this is just going to be doing like a lot of chip damage like if you just want to keep just pressuring like this sure you know and then go from there you know i'd say really and truly like you're you're firmly in the driver's seat here you know there's a you can do whatever you feel like you know i just don't know why he did hop the hit but anyway now three four he ducks now four one three i don't know man everyone on on the internet is telling me purple rank players are really good and you know, it's really high rank <laughs> bro like i i really want to rant about it but like i'm also not trying to like rant on people's parade and like just be a huge dickhead because i want people to f like i want people to be proud of themselves like you know learning the game and having fun like ranking up and stuff but simultaneously it's like bro i have fought some really garbage ass players that are purple ranks i don't think i don't think purple rank is nearly as good as some of y'all think it is ish i feel like it's just the, it's not worth the fight it's not it's not <laughs> but like i just i fight certain players and like i'd be thinking things and like i'd be wanting to say things but like i know if i say it niggas just gonna think i'm hating no because then they'll turn around and be like oh but it's working anyway so but it works even when they but... even when it don't work like <laughs> the internet is undefeated but anyway you close out this round fine 
Uh, why did he duck the back three into the down back four? Yeah, that was that. Was... Uh oh, did I die or did he die? Chat, y'all yeah, there? We good? Looks like my OBS is fine. I think he got shot. We good? Okay. They assassinated KWIS live on air. Is his stream still up? It, was it just his Discord? Let me see. Oh yeah, his I think his internet exploded. Well, they killed our KWIS Shepherd. Well, how have you guys been doing, chat? I've been ignoring you for the entirety of this uh this training session. The purple rank players got him, they heard us talking too much shit, man. Hold on quickly, let me just fix something. I guess I can take this opportunity to go ahead and catch up on alerts and anything like that that I missed. Yo, Cisco, thank you for the 29 months. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, Ninja Jr., thank you for the 23. Greatly appreciate that as well. Samurai Ghost, thank you for the 39. Otaku Rans, thank you for the 45. And Hashida Dante, thank you for the 20. Hey, was you alive? Oh. He wasn't, then he wasn't. Uh, Dave, thank you for the gift sub. Drizzy, thank you for the 21 months. And Wait, we're back. Everybody. We're back. You're back. We're back. Okay. The, pur that the was... purple ranks heard, heard you talking shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> they took me out, man. They took, okay. took you down live on air. Okay. Um, what in. Okay, now my. Hold on. <laughs> I got no idea what just happened there. Okay, my reshoot. Okay, that way my YouTube chat just died. So what's good, Masa? Uh, yeah, that's what I hate uh, about having problems with, like when I'm multi-streaming is that like yeah. when, you, when you disconnect from YouTube, like you can't reconnect to that shit. All right, well then YouTube streams dead. GG's YouTube, whatever. Because like up. you have to okay. create a whole event and shit, and like, it tells you like, oh, yeah. when this stream ends, you cannot reconnect to this broadcast. Nigga, why? Because then you have to start a whole new. Is, <sighs> yeah, when the YouTube stream dies, I'm just like, all right, bro, y'all come over to no, Twitch like, if you want to see it. YouTube stream is off now. Okay, now it's. <laughs> They're just, they have no idea what just happened. Nah, but, it, but it'd be like that because, like, and some of them I'm sure understand, but some of them may not understand. It's like, look, dog, it's just, y'all not going to come over to the new broadcast if I make it anyway. And I can't yeah. reconnect to this one. So it's just GG. If you want to continue yeah. following the stream, you got to come over to the Twitch. Yeah. Well, just, if, they if they really wanted to watch, right. they, they come over. Right. Because, like, if it but, was me, I'd be like, let me go to his Twitch channel and see if he's still alive over there. Like, what yeah, happened? Yeah, you know what I mean? But, you know, maybe the fake fans everywhere. Um, anyway, I said something about downfall for you. I think that's where I caught because I, I I said something and then you didn't uh, react. The like, last thing I heard was when I closed out the second round. You were like, "Okay, I did what back three into down back four, and then and then you died." Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, you didn't do backlash here, but again, I did tell you to just hop into rank when it warm up. So that's on me. Um. No punish on this, but again, match up knowledge, etc., 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 experience, etc. Et but you know what's you know what's weird about when I was playing today as well is that like, I feel like I normally just use four three all the time after I block something anyway. Because like if there's a string, like certain things, like I just know, okay, like I can punish this harder whether mm -hmm. it's with a down four two or a back three or whatever. But like dead ass, if I don't know, I just do four three, and I don't know why I wasn't doing that as much today. We'll just chalk it up to this. I want you to just look at this situation. <laughs> I just want you to. <laughs> I'm a scrap, bro. I don't know what you want. I just want you to look. Hell, I was in full scrub mode, bro. <laughs> like, I didn't use back one very much, but when I did, it's in the funniest fucking it was situations. Like. So the two times I've I've focused on using back quad is like at the worst possible. So this also came down to so you did down before jab. I think you weren't what? reacting to when it whiffed or not, right? Correct. You you weren't reacting to whether or not your that your jab whiffed or not. And you're just going from there. Mm -hmm. Um, but neither do I. So 
can't really say anything about that. Um, but yeah, while setting 2 2 is plus 12 G, as you can see. And then. What, Shang? It's a counter hit throw as well, so you weren't even. You were not going to break that. Yeah. Did it again. All right, get up three. While setting four, heat burst spent. That was a miss input. Let me look again to see what, what happened there. Well, I just I just mashed the button more than I meant to. I was just trying to do what was I trying to do? do? I think it looks I was, like you tried to do four four three. What's up? It looks like you tried to do four four three. I don't think that's what I wanted. I think I just I think my hands just decided they was doing their own thing for it. Because <laughs> I, I, I think what I wanted was four three four three, and then I was probably just gonna go into down three four. Because I was just trying, I was just hitting them with plus frame mates. Yeah. Like that's that's all that's, I was trying to do. That's what it looks like. Because you did you did the three before you hit down so you didn't get down three four yeah i, right. I just i wanted two four threes and then i was gonna go into down three four yeah. that's what that was well then bang yeah whatever <laughs> i mean that's king for you sir. and on this stage of course so yeah just another one yeah you press two and then one plus two first so i don't know why i hit two first and like i just could just be an error This is the most accidental throw I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> How? Well, no, it, no, 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 it, leg it legit wasn't accidental. I just, I didn't react. I just read that he was going to do it. Okay. Because I looked at that, I was like, yeah, there's no way he meant to do that. No, 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 I 100% I did. But because he had already just done it a couple of times. I was, because I, I remember it happened. I was like, man, fuck you. I knew, I just knew he was going to do that shit. So it wasn't a reaction. It was a read. But like, you should just react to throws. But I just, I just knew in my heart he was going to do it again. Well, fair enough. I and mean, then, yeah, I think you'd fought for three of the engage. So, again, like, even before I said it. And yeah, like, like literally, this was the situation I showed earlier, right? Mm -hmm. Forward, forward three to down forward three. So, you're already aware. That's fantastic. Um, did you try and heat dash cancel this? I don't think so. I see you did it and he did forward, but. He jumped again. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't condition these people a lot, bro. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, one, two, a bit patient. Down forward two. That's fine here. Then you spend it. So I think you really didn't do anything with your heat here. Mm -hmm. Really and truly. Um, but you had you did say you think out your ass at using heat, so like, I'm just trying to It yeah, just kind of a neutral situation. I think you, I think what the only thing I'd say here is I think you spend the heat dash a bit too fast. I think you so. Still, I think I do that all the time. Yeah, you still you still had time. Right. You still had time, so. But again, from this situation, down three four, like you took your pressure. Off. He did what? I just don't know, man. When I seen that nigga right. jump, I was like, he, what the fuck? He did, he, did the, he did people's elbow for some reason. I don't know. And um, I dropped man. my backlash, but it's fine because I got an accidental floor break yeah. to take those, but whatever. Now, running three, you have to be careful using running three in these situations. Yeah, that's another autopilot tracking. option where yeah. fucking most people don't roll and, and step it there. But it's, it's tracking is not your friend. It just is not. Yeah. I don't know. You pay too much for it. Two one on block. Side step two. Of course. That was two one on block. Minus three. Minus three is that buffed? Okay. Side step two. This used to be a normal hit launcher. So we take this. We genuinely take this. Go to save. Now again, this is this is a situation where a frame trap would have been your best friend here, right? Mm -hmm. You know, if you did like down forward four instead or something, you get knocked down. Colin continue with that pressure down forward two, for example. Right. You know, you had. Like I said, frame traps have been my main focus these last couple of days, and like I've I've, I've started doing a couple of them, but I. <laughs> Man, look, I, I'm glad it, it, you're reacting to it, and so it's not just me. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Nah, but like, okay, I, just I, don't, I fight, don't be too fast. I fight a lot of people who who do this though, right? They'll eat something like that, like, 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 okay, like that exact that exact same situation, right? I've had I've fought so many players who like they go for like a, a a launcher or a hop kick or a while standing move or something in that situation. I'm just like, yo, son. This is why I really need to figure out my better options after this, because ain't no way, bro. 
The thing is, he's a plus eight force crouch. Like I, and I'm not switching up the timing of my downfall too, by the way. Sometimes it hit and sometimes it doesn't. This game is broken. <laughs> Man, um, I... But anyway, downfall to something that isn't... I don't know, man. Like that's that makes no sense. But again, like I said, just a better frame trap option here would be fantastic. Mm -hmm. That should take the pressure from there. Down four two should be a good option in theory, but whatever. Um, all right, but you got down back three. So another counter hit here. And into four. This is that. That's very nice actually. You know, getting the down back three counter hit because you're very plus after that. Into a forward forward three, like pretty much uninterruptible. Is interruptible. Like if they mash, if he mashed here. I would have left the session completely, <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, he tried to parry down through four and he he just mashed Rage out there. Yeah. Like he just kept mashing Rage out. Um, but yeah, they're f sorry, that that going under down four two hurt my brain. Um, Huang's down four two doesn't launch crouches unless it's counter hit. Which uh, is fucking ass, crouch. but it's safe on block, I guess. So we can't have yes, that. Like safe on block down four twos don't launch crouches. So it's fine. What, why did my connection time out? Probably because, oh yeah, my stuff died, so I want to connect to the Steam server. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you're taking notes, by the way, because I am. Not. Oh yeah, I got a, my, my notepad on my phone is full of stuff I've been writing down throughout this. Fantastic. See chat, I'm a good student. You see all those notes? It's the, it's the, the, the teacher that's bad. All right. Nah, I feel like you've actually given me like a ton of stuff that I feel like I'm going to be able to implement right away. And some stuff will come with time, but. Oh, I hope so. All right. <laughs> now, hey, yo. now the Asuka game. This is a matchup <laughs> that got worse. <laughs> nah, this, nah, nah, this set is hilarious because I feel like I played so fucking bad, but we I won 2-0, so. Now, winning is everything. Uh, sure, like but like there were just so many mistakes and like execution errors and like. <laughs> game is the game. Hey, also, I got I ate every fucking launcher <laughs> she did and still won. I mean, if you win in those conditions, you can win in any any condition. You know what I mean? I guess I'm secretly um, the goat. I just have to reach my full potential, bro. I don't know. Literally, yeah. I had big wish should have been back three, but four three yeah. is fine. Someone said in my chat, you should play versus RDC as Lotus. Imagine. Oh, have you go fight them with my account and pretend to be me and just like, yo, what the fuck? You leveled up so much. <laughs> On a like two bar connection or some shit. All right. All right. So this was not. It was. See, here's, this is this is what annoyed me because it, it was working. Mm -hmm. well, but that's like, why I, I use it so much. It works against so many people. And like I said, when I, it gets blocked, they don't really do anything about it for the most part. So I was just I've gotten into the habit of using it a lot. <laughs> I just want to see safer mids after right for me to down through. I really do. But it worked, so the game is the game. I, now it's up for three plus four. It's okay. What four? What did you do? So you stopped and then did running three? I didn't mean to. It was supposed to be one fluid motion. <laughs> well, it, it worked. I mean, this is this is the. No, it it this, threw her this, off crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this. This entire game is just, Yo. I can't say shit because it works, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is one of the funniest sets I've ever played. Uh, Why did that? You must have just been late on your jab because that is a frame trap. Your jab should have won there. I guess. <laughs> All right. Two throw, no break. I thought that was did a one plus two throw. So I'd say you need to do thoroughbred practice just to mm -hmm. learn to recognize which arm is which. Um, I'll show you what I did and then. Copy and paste. Let's see. I feel like that hit you every single time in this set. It did and I don't know why. I feel, <laughs> like there was a couple times where I think I like I was trying to step or whatever and I got hit, but like, <sighs> I don't know. Now, this is something you need to be launching against Asuka is minus 17. Mm -hmm. Again, matchup experience, blah, 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 blah. You still punished it anyway, but again. Right, just leaving damage friend. on the table. Yep. What the fuck? Don't ask me. And she did that like two or three times, and I was so mad at myself for letting her do that. Yeah, down jab into while standing three. I'm pretty sure she does that a couple more times than I got hit. 
<laughs> All right, then that was good. Yeah, honestly, exactly. Oh, I remember you didn't kill here and I got upset. Okay. I was also upset. It's okay. I don't remember so, what I did here, but I remember letting her live. Oh, yeah, that was such a shitty combo. Oh, God, I'm sorry. In so this is this is a general rule I want for everyone, everyone to listen up here. In the same sequence that you heat engage or heat burst, never heat smash. Ever. And I normally don't, so I don't know why I did here. I yeah. I only ever use heat smash in a combo if it's going to kill, and I knew it wouldn't kill there, and I still used it, so I don't know. I don't know why I did and that. I'd, so what I started doing after he engages is a simple combo. This is what I do now. Right? Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty simple. Forward four, up forward four, forward three, three, two. You don't right. think you could have? <clears throat> well, I, I guess probably, especially with that weird wall situation. I was like, you don't think a, a heat dash there would have been good at like a four three or something? See, thing is, maybe. Let's find out. This is what this is what like in, in hindsight, that's like what I would have gone for, but I don't know if it would have worked out because of the wall situation. Oh, because there's too many hits there. Mm. Um, but I think, I mean. If I wanted to be like really go for it, because it's a weird wall situation. That's, That's the what problem I'm saying. Here, right? yeah. But I could probably like, does this connect? Okay, if you can start with like a backlash and then this is this is about to be some really obscure combo that you should never really do. But yeah. Okay, so let me let me freak this real quick. Hey. Oh, but that doesn't connect. <laughs> and for some reason, we're, we're going over this way now. It was possible, but like, what did I think? What did you you did was all right to be honest. Back three, I'd say I'd say after heat engage, right? Mm -hmm. After heat engage, wall splat, forward four, up forward four is your best friend. Um, that's what I've been doing a lot. Um, like this is this is the simple combo, right? I, I don't know what doing. I've been I've been using up forward four, but I don't know I haven't been doing forward four and up before. I don't know what I've been doing in the situations. <clears throat> I, I think say this is actually maybe I've just been using. Five. I, get, I think in situations like that, I've just been doing back three more than I've been doing up forward four. I think, there's, but I've definitely had wall splats and I do like up forward four, but some of those come from like heat smash or like, uh, I don't know, like some other random wall splats, but I'll keep that in mind after, actually let me write that down after heat engage. Right? I was just looking at my chat and I'm assuming they were referring to like the me playing RDC world and they said, <laughs> said Lotus, Lotus is going to summon k with and Maharaga. It's funny because they keep saying that's how Afro summoned me. <laughs> they also keep calling me. Oh fuck! I haven't seen the meme or the TikTok or whatever. Big Raga the Oppa Stopper or some some <laughs> shit. I don't know what the fuck it means, bro. I can't keep up with these kids, but they they've been calling me Big Raga the Oppa Stopper. <laughs> that sounds like it's got some connotations to it. Now, this time you didn't punish at all. But okay, but here's my issue. They did minus 17 as a duck. So <laughs> both of you, both of you lose points for that one. Yeah, well. Now Warzone 3 needs to be a back three punish, but it comes down. I think you need to do punishment training generally. Because mm -hmm. um, I think there are times you've not reacted to the blocks done. So I think right. I think just getting used to the blocks and using punishment training will be very helpful. I'd say that's something to do. Like I think I, I agree, right? But there's also just like I fought Huska before and punished that. So I just don't know why I wasn't. <laughs> That's funny because I think I just wanted down three four and yeah, I got sidestep no three. No way you meant to do that. Yeah, no. But I she know, died to it, so whatever. Again, just the, the funniest this set. Is, I think this I've ever game played. was it worked, so I can't complain. The game. That's what happened in this game. It worked, so I can't complain. Oh, why did I just crouch there? Like, why did they? Do, what did they do? Jabbing's okay, fair. I mean, here's the thing. This is why I like to jab off the people. This is why sorry, I like to do down forward two off the people jab because, like I said, they like to stop their whole entire offense with it. And it's like, no. Mm -hmm. It's like, no. You don't have that luxury. Right? Right. Now, just blocking a jab and then down forward two just works like more often than it should, I guess. I don't know. Well, actually. I, feel like the first, I don't know, but like, like I said, it's uh, why I think it's a decent option to do.
Yeah, you should be dead here. Oh. Did it again. So upset with myself. <clears throat> I need to be using more mids, like you said. Yep. I think I've fallen in love a lot with the two jab. Uh, just because so many players that I fought, they just. Two jab into down forward two has get, got me so much mileage that I feel like I overuse it now. Mm -hmm. Now. So yeah, like I said earlier, right flamingo back three would have been good here. Mm -hmm. Um because they mashed as well. That's one thing I know. They've been mashing all like down yeah. four four would have been you know something pretty simple to get. But that's something I need to practice you know. as well, like the the, the the combos off of like down back four. I down back four into like hold forward into whatever. I yeah. I just don't have the execution yet for that. But I I think that's easy enough for me to learn. I just haven't practiced it enough. Some reason forward two just isn't consistent here, but it hits sometimes. So yeah, I don't know what to say about that. For some reason, it sometimes it hits, sometimes it doesn't. So down back four is probably your best friend in this situation when you want to get the launch. So just down back four, hold forward into okay. Something like that. I need to work on like those. I don't have combos in this situation as well. Like I don't have my optimals yet. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing I'm gonna work on working on. Um, but did that. Like I said, when I get that a lot, I just it's normally going to back three, which I know I'm leaving damage on the table. I just haven't learned anything better than that yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was fine as well. So you used your heat dash a bit early, I'd say. Mm -hmm. But you did carry I mean I think you could have carried to the wall without it. But again, that just comes down to knowing the combos and like having like a guide or something to pick from and be like, okay, this is the combo to do in this situation, etc., etc. Right. Um. Hey, how long it can take to get back to the moment after the replay finished? Okay. Yeah. So I think. I don't even. I'm just trying to think of like a a decent combo to do. I think after this you can do forward three, which is very good. Right? Right from go forward three. I think one thing I want to do in my combo guide as well is like mm -hmm. teach people to be able to make their own combos. And use and be able to like find the best moves. I think right foot forward forward three is one of the like especially when you're right for forward is one of the combo fillers you always want to be able to try and squeeze in. If you can, <laughs> I'm starting right? to learn that now because I've seen yourself and so many of the other Huarong players like they're using that a lot. Like that four two four three. Like I'm seeing that in more and more routes as this game progresses, and I was like, okay, I need to learn the routes where I should be doing that then. Something like that. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's another move forward four from regular is another move you want to always try and get in a combo. Um. Like if, if you're able to, mm -hmm. like, yeah. Again, I think this was fine because you got to the wall anyway. You have all this pressure and you did forward forward three, which is a good option to do from here. And then again, while they're still down, down forward three, they woke up into it. Like, again, there's nothing wrong with this, I'd say, whatsoever. It's like people wake up into that a lot in that situation. So that's Yo. like one of my go to options. Very good. Um, and then the second game is <laughs> more of the same, frankly. <laughs> I feel like that was even more. The second game might have been even funnier, honestly. Also, why did these replays take so long to load? Round one. Fight. Yeah, see that too. Like, I don't know why I didn't punish that because like I, I got a homie who plays June, right? And uh, He's a sport too. I launch punish him for that all the time. And I just, I don't know why I drew a blank. It's the same fucking move. And like, I also played a little bit of Asuka in seven. Like I know, I know I'm supposed to be launching that. And I just didn't. I mean, I, like I said, I'd prefer the fact that, you know, you're not doing it is better than you not knowing. So again, I just say punishment training in, in general might be a bit, it might be a big help mm -hmm. just to get blocked some time. Oh my fucking God. They did power crush again, bro. You, <laughs> this is why you step moves so much. <laughs> 
if people just like mash your crouch all the time there. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know you were like cringing and wincing at how often I use that but move, it's, but it's, it's like, annoying that it works. Uh, well, that's why I use it because it works. <laughs> Because like, you know what it is? It's just like people just don't understand the Huarong matchup at all. So like, oh, I'm yeah. getting pressured. I want a power crush to get through this. And then they just eat that. Yeah. It happens way more than you'd probably think. I think what I want to do, though, is maybe force you to play games without using it. And I'd say use down forward four back through or like a safer mid instead and see mm -hmm. where that gets you. For sure. Um, but like it's working, so I can't really say anything. Yeah, that's just a complete guess there. No break. Now, this was weird because we both said this. When this whiff, we both said, I didn't think that would whiff. I, I um, like, for sure didn't. Like, that could have been launch punish into the game being over, but. Just, yeah, but it whiffed like right in your face. Like, point <laughs> like a centimeter in front of me. I don't think anyone would have launched that, to be honest. Minus 11. That's fair. That was that was unlucky. <laughs> I somehow just... ended up winning this. <laughs> See, here's where punishment, the punishment recommended, can be annoying because. Asuka can finish the string here and right. you will get hit, right? Mm -hmm. But yeah, you can punish that, but she does have the end of the string. Can I, I'm not sure if back three is, con I think it's less consistent in this game than it was in Tekken 8 and uh, Tekken 7. Like, yeah. See, this is the thing about the recommended punishment I, um, sometimes. So I, I fought way more against June than Asuka, but I have had like, basically zero success actually launching her for blocking back three. So I just don't even try anymore. I feel like I'd say forward, forward, forward is also a punish. But it's one of those you have to be. I'm pretty sure it's a frame perfect punish forward, forward, four. Right. I like see they're still blocked. But yeah, it's it is a punish, but like you have to be very fast on it. Mm -hmm. It's I think it's a safe thing to do if you do block back three anyway, because it is a safe mid. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. But if it does hit, cool. Um, there. I just think it, it, I feel like back Asuka's back three's been buffed in this game because in Tekken Seven, this was by season three, season four, this was a con back three was a consistent punish. All right, side step two. I just need you to see it. That's that's it. I just need you, I just need you to see it. <laughs> I use it in the funniest situations. That's that's what makes it, that's the what thing makes is it what so they great. what they did is kind of worse. I'm gonna be honest because they were plus and they did side set too. So I well, okay. Uh, so that I, <laughs> I've I've noticed that a lot where I fight people who and like I guess I've done it sometimes as too not nearly as frequently as like what I go up against. But like I'll fight somebody who will do something where they have like a really advantage situation. And they'll do something like like a side step two or like like they'll try to crush something. They'll do something as if they're reading that I'm gonna do. I don't yeah. know. Like I I don't know. It's yeah. One thing I need you to start doing mm -hmm. is dashing up into your heat burst after the backlash. Why is that? Because then you can do this instead. Instead of a forward, 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 and that's just a that's a that's a bit more damage that can also lead to a kill, right? Okay. I'd say dashing up, and then you can also if you dash up to the heat burst as well, you can do the key charge set because you're closer. Mm -hmm. Um, but again, this becomes easier once you are able to do the buffer to stance switch faster. So again, because again, that also from this far away, there is that you do run the risk of it of it whiffing. Right. But dashing up into it will be a lot better. Mm -hmm. But that comes with also being able to get the combo faster and then go from there, etc, 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 right? 
at you. I guess <clears throat> that's something I should work on. But uh, I also just didn't think anything I was going to do was going to get the kill here. So I was like, okay. I only even activated heat there because I was like, now I'm in a post rager situation with heat. And I was like, okay, you're either going to, you're going to hold this for, you're either going to dive to this forward, forward, four, or I'm going to heat dash after it and make you guess again. So yeah. Also, this was also good. Do you know why this, this is quiz time. I'm going to, this is, this is a special part of the coaching. What also makes this rage out good? Uh, we can actually use it raw now instead of uh now the rage out flamingo. The, the rage out you did here, why was it also good? Uh, the, I, I don't know, you have to fill me in. Grey life. Do rage arts rage kill grey life? Rage, rage arts delete grey life. I never noticed. So look. Damn! Okay, I I actually never noticed. Yeah. That's another reason. And oh, then so again, wait, I, so does it always just eliminate all gray life? Yes. I never noticed. Yep. That's insane. And actually. then also, also, I'm pretty sure I said in this situation when, when I was watching is just do forward, 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 heat dash. And I'm pretty sure that's what you did. Yeah. yeah. And like I said, I was like, you either die to this or. Or you get go, yeah, go yeah. to another. Like, because again, if she blocked it, this is why. This is what I love. No, I hate this. Why I see I'm going to be honest. Um, <laughs> If she blocked it. Let's go back. She's she's so loud. <laughs> if you don't time your replay good enough, you end in such a bad situation. Um, we have to go back. If she blocks this, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um. There you go. If she blocks this, chip damage plus five, etc., etc. Like right. I, it, I don't know why it was so hard to demonstrate that, but again, I think she woke good. up in a sidestep too as well. Um, but yeah, if she blocked that chip damage, most people in that situation yeah. they just try to rage art and like yeah. Uh, sometimes I was going for a uh, running three, and I was having success with that at first until I started fighting players who would just like wake up and jab or like while standing mm -hmm. four or something and then flow mm -hmm. combo. And I was yeah. like, you know what? You know what's a way better option here? <laughs> four, four, four. Mm -hmm. I just got hit by that move every time she did it. Don't ask me you why. You actually lit, like I don't. You blocked it once. I didn't. But somehow you still won. All right, this wasn't even a whiff punish. What the fuck did they do? I I don't know. What did they do? They whiff running three. I was pretty slow they, with my back three there. They tried to do down back two again. I see. <laughs> After, okay. but, that, but that's the crazy part, right? They they whiffed that shit and still tried to do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Ryzen rank, by the way. All right. So this will never connect. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So when you do heat burst into heat dash, you can never continue the combo. If you do the heat burst in the combo, you will never be able to continue it, right? Um, and that's what happened here. Gotcha. So if you do this combo here. If you do heat burst, then heat dash. If you do the forward, 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 you could only get another guaranteed hit follow up, right? Gotcha. If it's done okay, in the that, same combo. That, that makes sense. You might be able to sidestep 3-3. Three, three. Well, with the wall here, you can sidestep 3-3. Three, three, I never right? actually use sidestep 3-3. Three, three, or, or rather, or I don't use it because I don't know the situations where I should be using that as opposed to like, you know, like 4-3, four, 4-3, three, 3-2 four, three, yeah. three, or whatever. Yeah, so you could get the size of 3 3 here, but again, that's only if their back is like literally hugging the wall right here. Mm -hmm. I'd say what to focus on is so, like I said here, because you did heat burst in the combo. If you do any heat dash move, you will not be able to continue the combo, uh, the combo from there, right? Mm -hmm. So that's just focus what, on getting the guaranteed hit. That's a CD3. rule that I did not know. Yeah, it's something that, like, once you realize it, you because I just thought like, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, they, I mean, I am, but not for that reason specifically. It's, it's the game. It's gotcha. the game. Um, and one thing I like doing is if I know it's not going to kill, is I would do forward, forward three into down, forward three. Because they're going to wake up and block it or they're going to get hit. And then, you know, we go from there, right? Right. So if I know it's not going to kill, um, forward, forward three. 
uh, down four three. Right before down four three. Mm -hmm. Mate, you can't you can't get a pick up off that. I mean, I've seen people do it with like three to the four, but like I don't know how you do it. So I've never been able to get a see myself. But there. Don't 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 ask me. 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 I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was just one of those situations like I don't know what the fuck I was thinking in the moment. And then no punish I'm... on the fast <laughs> ending three. <laughs> like I was I was so mind blown by the fact that I didn't kill her right there that I was like, nigga, what's what's really going on with me? I've also bugged Okay, I got the replay bugged a bit there. Um I'd say if you land forward forward three uh forward forward four by the way, that's the best thing to do if you Um Forward three up forward four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're coming from there. Um, I, don't even, I don't even know what I wanted to do in that situation. I don't even remember, but yeah, it, it, def I, uh, it definitely wasn't that. <laughs> it, it was something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I actually wanted to do there. Again, you won the round, so <laughs> we're going to actually hold on. No, play, play it one more time. Are you sure you want to see that again? I I don't, but I th I just want to see what my input history was, and maybe I could figure out what the fuck I was thinking I was going to do there. Yeah, I have no idea. I thought maybe I thought maybe I was thinking, oh, I'll just do down three four up up uh, up four uh, four, man. But no, that I don't I don't know what the fuck I was thinking in that yeah. moment. <laughs> Again, I think combo and optimization, that's just a practice thing. That will come with time. Um, Alright. Okay, good with punish there. Gets the float. Wasn't ready for a pickup. That's fine. What do I have picked up with there? Uh, down back four? Uh, in this situation here? Yeah. Probably. You might be able to jab, but probably down back four. Let's try. For the replays of four, right? Oh, I keep getting, I keep bugging the replay. Damn, she ended up so far away. There we you go. still get that. Okay. There we go. All right. Cool. Yeah. Could have had a pick up, but like. I feel like you were kind of saying that, like, oh, I got a pickup. Like, what do I do? And then, you know? Yeah. That was an attempted whiff. Our 4 3 just has very good whiff recovery, so. I, I, I realized that. <laughs> yeah. Punish. They tried to do while setting three, didn't they? Back three. Okay. <laughs> I spent that right away. I don't know why. Actually, I don't think I meant to spend it right away there. I think I just wanted a regular forward, 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 and I just whatever. <laughs> but like, this is what my matches are like. People get hit by it so much. Another drop. I can't say anything because it worked, but. How did you get? It looks like what you tried to do here was run up into stance switch, but you got running three plus four, which I'm pretty sure gives you running four. Let's see. Yeah, running three plus four gives you running four. So that's what happened yeah. here. Yeah, I've I've actually been having that happen to me more often lately. I don't know why, but I think it's you're, you're trying to rush. You want to get the stance switch as fast as possible. Yeah. Um, but without doing the buffer. I mean, like, like I, 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 I understand the error that is happening in my execution, but what, yeah. what I don't understand is why I'm doing it more than I was before. <laughs> yeah. Um, maybe because I told you about the buffer, and then like you, that's all you're focusing on. I don't know. Maybe. Um, I don't know. But okay. There's one other thing in my notes. Let's see. So there's king. He engage options. He engage combo. Frame traps. Actually, no. I've covered everything. Actually. Um, more mi yeah, I literally covered everything in my notes. Okay, that was an I, I didn't, I was an accident. I covered everything in my notes, but it happened organically. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Okay, now 
I did want to go into practice mode. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to also go into Okay, wait, hold on. So when it comes to movement, how do you feel about your backdashing? Oh, I'm horrible at it. But they buffed backdashing this game and made it a little bit easier. And it's like, this game is so aggressive. <laughs> the mindset I've been approaching it was like, you know, I'll learn how to act properly backdash at some point. And it'll be really useful when I do. But like, I'm holding forward more than I'm holding back. Okay. But um, yeah, no, go, my, my movement is terrible. Go to practice mode. Mm -hmm. And can you... Trying to think right now. Hold on. Let me just. Yeah. All right. Go to. All right. Can you go to Price Money and stream with me, please? Yeah. And pick Colosseum or Yakushima. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, oh. right, easy. Okay. Okay. Oh. So I'm just, I'm just switching. Yeah. 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 All right. There we go. All right, can you let me see your backdash, please? I, I mean, I just literally can't. Like, I, I it's like back, back, down, back, and then neutral, and then down, back, back, down, back. I just, I can't, I can't do it. All right. Like, so what I do is I do the quarter circle forward method. So I would just do, well, I guess quarter circle what, back. For, uh, the back dash? So, so if you, what I do is, I need to look at myself to do it, by the way, hold on. Yeah, so literally, back, mm. back, and then quarter circle back over and over and over again. And before you do that, hold on. There we go. So just do that. You you know, obviously, you play fighters, so quarter circle is whatever, right? Yeah. So just do quarter circle back. Uh -huh. So just that. do back, 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 and then just do quarter circle back over and over and over again. Oh, okay, I... Okay, this is this is easier than how I've been doing it before. And I think if I just sit here and just like get into that uh, the muscle memory, the motion of doing that. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I'm not good, but I, I can. This is much more doable for me, I feel like. Let me slow down. All right, after the first back back, uh -huh. quarter circle back, don't do back back. Oh, is it just back, quarter circle back? So just do back back, quarter circle back, and then just keep doing quarter circle back. Oh. Wait, is that it? Hold on. I see the thing is, it's harder to no, say. No, I, I, I feel you, because there's a lot of things when people will ask me about shit in games, whether it's combos or whatever. Like if, yeah. I, if I'm not actively doing it myself, I can't tell you. Like my hands know it, but I don't know, necessarily always remember it in, like in my head. All right, let me show you. Mm -hmm. what my input looks like and then I'm literally going to send you a screenshot of what it looks like and then that should give you an idea mm -hmm. also those uh, ask in chat I play on a regular PS5 controller PS5 pad supremacy uh, let's see Okay, yeah, so it's quarter circle back, quarter circle back, quarter circle back, or quarter circle back, back, quarter circle back. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I can't, well, I, I can't say it, but like, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Back, back, quarter circle back, back, quarter circle back, quarter circle back. Okay, I at least know what I need to practice now. 
All right, now show me your screen again. Okay, so that's all. Wait a minute. <laughs> it's ugly as hell. <laughs> it's better than it was before. Okay, hold on. I I can clean I this up with, with enough practice for sure. Uh, I, my chat didn't see that, but like, okay, now press start. Go to restart settings. Mm -hmm. uh, switch positions. Mm -hmm. Switch position. And now restart. And I'll just do exactly what you're doing. Definitely gonna be harder on PT side. No, no, do do it the same way. Well, I'm saying it's harder for me to do a quarter circle in that direction with my thumb than it is on P1 side. So like, it's gonna be, it's probably gonna be even uglier. No, I know literally exactly what you were just doing, like, but don't switch the side. Oh, so is that's how you wave dash? Yeah. So just forward, forward, quarter circle, forward, quarter circle, forward, quarter circle, forward. Yeah. Like that. Oh. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, So start off, like, just do forward and then just do quarter circle forward. Just do one. I see. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> see that? And now, literally, it's just practicing that. Yeah, yeah. Like, wait a minute now. <laughs> literally, that's it. All right, that for sure, is... for sure, for sure. I was, I definitely wasn't doing a quarter circle before. That's just not how I ever interpreted the the videos. No, I've ever so watched it's on how to it's, it's it's the quote unquote dirty backdash, right? Doing mm -hmm. the quarter circle method. It's the it's the quote unquote dirty backdash. But like, I can do it faster than I do the regular method, and it gets the job done. Um, so I literally, it's just practicing that. Both sides as well because you don't want to get stuck on P2 and then you can't backdash. All right. Um, I mean, you know what's funny? I used to always think I was so bad at like playing on player two and fighting games. And like, sure, I might be a little bit weaker, except for in Dragon Ball Fighters. But like, I realized it's not really a fighting games thing for me. It's a Tekken thing because Tekken is so much harder on the other yeah. side than the other. Because like when I play like BBMZ or if I'm playing like Grand Blue or if I'm playing like any other fighting game, I don't struggle on player two side to do anything, whether it's combos or whatever. Nearly as much as I do in second. Yeah. No, <laughs> it, that's that's very normal. Yeah, but like, but that's what I'm saying because like I grew up playing Tekken, and like Tekken Seven was the first time where I was like actually really getting into a fighting game before DBMZ released, right? And so my whole life, and then like when I was getting into fighting games, I was like, yeah, man, I'm just bad at player two size. Like, oh no, that's just in Tekken. I don't struggle like that in the other games. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I'm pretty much the same as well. I think Tekken, Tekken, it's because your everything just movement, right? It's a struggle on the, the other side, right? Right. Um, now, with that knowledge in mind, I see practicing, and that's good. Yeah, All right. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, now, I'm gonna definitely just be sitting here, like when I'm not streaming or anything. Just, be, <laughs> just enjoy. <laughs> well, one day I'm no, gonna pop, and y'all just gonna see me like Sonic the head cause you get this bitch. Got that. Wee! No, no, literally, like that is it. Because what I would do is something like after I finish the rank sessions, like, okay, let's just do some rank dash practice for a bit. Right. Make sure that's clean. That like, make sure, like just it's something you need to actively practice. I think a lot of things in the game you can get better passively. I think stuff like movement and execution that is active. You need to be able to you need to be able to put in the reps in to get better at that, right? Right. And now you obviously know the input for a just room scarab. Yeah. You it's, know, or just down the board. It's got to be the same. You know what I'm saying? Like, ah. Uh, let me see, let, let me see one. It's like. It's like my attempt at one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that, no, that's that's fantastic. Almost. Um, but I do just... that again. Regular stuns. Oh, wait, go back to swap sides as well. Yeah. 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 You have to need to actually someone else in my chat. You need to actually practice the breaks as well. So do that again. Oh, you have the best problem to have, which is you usually need to press four earlier. 
Well, yeah, I've always recognized that and I try, but I just, I just fucking just, can't, man. You just need to like, just think about pressing for I'm just telling you, you just need to think, just think about pressing for early. You have literally the best time to have all this shit. But like, I can't do just it, not man. like, just no, press bro, it earlier. Bro, when I tell you, I have, listen, listen, listen. When I tell you, I have spent hours in training mode, learning how to just frame skyrocket. And like, I have gotten like five in my life ever. Like I, this is this is one of the reasons why I always tell niggas this character is harder than fucking playing Kazuya's bitch ass over here. Cause like I can do some electrics. I'm not I'm not consistent with them. You're not gonna see me doing a match. But if I sit in training mode, I can do a few electrics. I can sit here for three hours and do maybe one skyrocket if I'm lucky. Do it again. Go into right foot forward. And do it. Yeah, that shit's free. I can do that every you, time. You. There's. Oh my god. But this side, it just don't click for me. Man. I just can't push that forward fast enough. I just... You're so... You're actually just there, though. That's and the annoying... That's, like, it's, I, yeah, you're telling me! <laughs> I, no, okay, no, go back. Okay, neutral stance. Uh-huh. Try... Think about pressing four earlier as you do it. Think about pressing four earlier than you're doing the movement. Okay, that was way too early. You lit. You actually basically had it there. I was gonna say, I'm looking at my forward. inputs. I'm like, I feel like I you, did it right, but it didn't come the out. Down forward. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Think about pressing four before you even do down forward. That's what I'm trying to do. was right well whatever i'd say hold on do all right because this is something i used to do is go bum bum say bum bum as you do forward and down for it bum bum like literally say it and press it at the exact is bum 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 <laughs> right literally <laughs> it, it sounds so dumb bam, bam. like i'm fucking yeah, dude, uh, literally just fucking, whatever. Uh, what's, what's the what, name off the Flintstone? Not Bam Bam, but his dad's name. Like I'm, <laughs> like I'm fucking Bam just, Bam from the it's Flintstones. It's literally just, it's yeah, literally man. just like, at the exact, and the same time you say your Bam, do the forward and then the neutral, and then the forward, the down forward at the same time. Bam Bam. Say it. Kind of freak. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just need, I. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I need you to say and bam. it. And bam. And bam. And bam. No. And bam. No. And bam. No. And bam. I bro. All right. Okay. Stop. Just do down forward four. Just do down forward four. Oh wait. Just. Is that regular yeah. down forward four? Is there something you're trying to see here? Or? Just keep doing down forward four for me. Even when you're doing regular down forward four, it's a second. Why is it behind? I, I don't know, man. It's just something about me. Like I just, I'm just always ever so slightly off. It's so, it's so strange though. Hold on. Sorry, I didn't mean to call you strange. But. No, it's fine. But but I mean like it is. But that's the, that's always been my biggest frustration is that like I've always been so close. But it's still so far away. Like it just, I don't know. That's crazy. I'm doing down forward four now. I'm doing the exact same shit. But like you do a skyrocket, like it's a fucking down forward too. So like I don't, I'm just like I don't know if I'll ever have that level of consistency because I sit here for hours just trying to do that shit and I just. <gasps> don't tell me you did it and I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw the. Okay, I can see the input. <laughs> the instant he looked away. <laughs> okay. And I won't be able to do it again, so I, I no. hope somebody clipped it. <laughs> okay. Whatever you did there, do that again. I'll try. I can't make any promises that I'll be able to replicate that. It ain't, it ain't happening, big dog. <laughs> I 
I can't believe I missed it. Okay. Because like, my issue is, I know, I know when I'm, I'm like, I can generally think about why I'm missing it, right? Right. I think you need to think about, so the input is forward neutral, down forward four. Right. That's the input. Think of forward, because I think someone, I think a blue says in chat, think of forward neutral, four down forward. Wait, say that again? Think of forward neutral what? So the input is forward neutral, down forward four. Right. Think of forward neutral, forward down forward. Okay, I see what you're saying. Oh, wait a minute. That might be the trick. I was thinking that, but a blue, like, shout out to a blue because he's the one who put that out there. A blue, thank you. Yo, that's thank crazy. You. Thank you. That, yo, yo, like, that shit just unlocked something, bro. That's <laughs> insane. Because that was my issue with Skaraka. I'm, I'm doing the four too late, so I need to think of doing the four. Uh, oh my god, he's doing it again. Oh my goodness. It's Wait a fucking minute. showing off now. Oh my god. Still gonna take a lot of practice, but I'm, I'm yeah, doing but no, I, I, like I, just, I got more just now than I have in like my last eight years of ever trying to play this character. A bluder, I love you for that one. Okay. And again, like the miss inputs you're getting as well, like aren't even that bad. Right, right. Okay, 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 okay. And and then remember, <laughs> that's you, we gotta be doing that shit on both sides. For sure. That as well. Right. Mm -hmm. like, I like it on the other side at all. Uh, so, so uh, you think of it as forward neutral. You do it. Okay, you're doing regular. Okay, that's fine. Doing a regular. Um, one, but... Think of it as forward neutral four down forward instead of forward neutral down forward four. Yo, doing down forward for me on the other side? I never realized how much harder it is actually. It's about finding the position in your hand that like, is yeah, most comfortable I... with. Because, because like for me, now that I think like, about it, I, I mean, I don't use down forward four as much as I should for playing this character, but now that I think about it, I probably never ever use this move on P2 side. Just yeah. like subconsciously, I'm just like, nah, we're not as comfortable doing that. Like again, getting it on one side, like, is more than is more than enough. Uh Sex Effects the Prime Gaming Ooh, Sub. There's one. Thanks for dropping on me. I appreciate that. You got it because I got a Prime Gaming Sub. Guys, you, that's that's it. Prime Gaming Sub will get Lotus to do. Like, he just did another one, guys. You know Prime say, Gaming Sub. You know it, it doesn't matter if it's my channel, Lotus's channel. Prime, uh, geez, he's doing it again. <laughs> <laughs> you rambling with the five gifted subs? That means Lotus has to do five Scarabs in the room. I don't know about all that. Let me go back to this. But yeah, no, I'm like, that's mad. Yo, Remember, Rambler, they're getting five gifted as well. <laughs> Shout out to Rambler. And now it's it's like a Rasengan. You just need to remember that feeling. Right. Oh, fuck. I'm losing it. One of the things where... It's, not, it's fine. It's fine. You know how that goes, all right? You learn something new in fighting games. Like, oh, shit. I got it. I got it. And it's like, no, I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> and you try to force it back. And then, yeah. Nah, it's fine. I believe it deserves more. He actually... I actually offered him mod, and he was like, no. This thing about my chat, he... he he's, I remember I gave him a choice. I said like A or B or some shit. A, when A was I giving mod, B was I giving VIP. He picked A, I gave him mod, and he said no, take that back. Because he doesn't <laughs> want to mod this fucking chat. Um, but I mean, you guys who have been here enough understand how ridiculous this chat gets. So I understand that decision. Oh, I lost it. I, 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 I got the trick to it now, though. I, I know I can practice no, this a bit better. Understanding the trick to it is like the most important thing, right? 
and i'd say this is what is so important for you now is just getting these reps in in practice mode right right back dashing that, that's exactly what i've been talking about like kind of throughout this with certain things that you're telling me is that like certain things i feel like they're like very obvious and sometimes they're so obvious to maybe like a player like yourself but i don't ever think of it and then once i hear it out loud it clicks yep. and that applies to so many things so it's like i knew that like i'm doing the four too late and i need to be doing it earlier like i'm i even told myself yeah just think about it like you're hitting the four you know before it but like i never thought of it as like think of it think of it as if you're doing forward four down forward four right or forward neutral you know what i'm saying i never thought of it that way and then hearing it out loud i was like oh like it makes sense now i can do this no literally that is it right and yeah. sometimes you actually just need to hear it and also sorry and say kevlar shut the fuck up anyway um sorry he's just being annoying um actually why am i pulling this fuck you kevlar um anyway but like yeah see you're doing it now and again sometimes you actually just need to hear it and it's that simple okay now um, i actually need to learn the combo off it if i'm going to be practicing this and doing it then what was the combo uh, you're doing off this? I never bothered doing the combo because so, I was like, I can't fucking skyrocket. I've changed my combo now, right? So mm -hmm. can you look at, are you looking at my screen? Oh, uh, give me a second. So <laughs> I'll do, I'll do like, I'll do a combo and you just tell me which one you like the best, to be honest. <laughs> For sure. So let me know when you're watching. I'm watching my, my fault. All right, cool. So this is the one I'm doing now. That's not the one. That's not the one. Okay, now I can't skyrocket. There we go. <laughs> so this is the one I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. It's not 87 damage because I have rage on it. Is. Say that shit hit kind of hard. Eighty-two. Mm -hmm. Right. So this is the one I'm doing now because there's also. So this is something. For now, you won't need to worry about, but like, so. It pretty much like does everything I need it to do. Cause then like I can dash off my board, three plus fours, etc., etc. right? So this was just flexible. Um, also what's really good about this combo is it's 71 damage after the backlash, uh, right? Right. And this, so this is, this is some, this is some like advanced tech that like we'll get to at some point. Um, but there's a Huaring player. I don't know who they were. Janva showed me this clip of this Huaring player doing this tech where basically, so I'm going to set this to block all. So he's going to, he's going to get hit. So when he wakes up here, mm -hmm. just so people are aware, he will, or he should block. All right, cool. And then he'll block after he blocks, he'll block again. Okay. So. He showed me this tech where if we do this correctly, four plus eight there. And you might have seen me do this as well. Probably, but I probably didn't recognize what, what happened in the situation. This is what this combo is really good for. There we go. So that's just guaranteed there? Is that what that is? So what happens here? is you get to this situation and this is why I like this combo so much because in total that's 100 damage what I just did there in right. total is when they block this forward forward three if you do it correctly it's actually plus 10 because mm. you see forward forward three is if you look at the frames right. is between 20 to 24 frames that's how that's the, those are the four active frames what happens is when they tech roll into the forward forward three if you do it correctly it hits at the 24th frame it where it, it is plus, plus 10. It so is plus the, the 10. two three becomes guaranteed though. that becomes guaranteed because it's not plus 10 g it is plus 10. that's that's nasty <laughs> all right and how this works is you can practice if you want but like even i it's weird to get consistently mm -hmm. like sometimes i'm just like oh I, there's there's like a, sometimes it just clicks and i know exactly why i'm doing it sometimes it doesn't right right like there right um, but like, yeah. So what you just do is you do the combo and then, uh, blah, so wait, blah, how do you blah. recognize whether or not you've got it? Right. Well, actually, what is, you don't, I was just saying, just, like, how bad is, just, how bad is two, three just, on block? Cause like, let's just say I'm just not getting that, but I'm going for the two, three. Cause you're essentially guessing whether or not you did it right. So, well, two, three is safe, right? Minus nine, but okay, two, so three it's not too big. bad. Well, 
Well, but I mean, like, how often is that actually happening? Well, here's the thing. Like, after blocking the forward forward three in that situation, like, you're not going to be that. They're not normally that prepared. Right. And I've yet to run into anyone who has stuck my two three like this. But I think maybe people don't know yet. So we're just going to keep that one in the hush hush. But um, what I, I just kind of do it, right? Because here's the thing as well. If they happen to, like, neutral block as well. Like, if they happen to neutral block or they move, like, the two three hits regardless, right? Mm -hmm. But that's the, that's also the problem issue there as well. Like the the jab can win. Uh, but this is this is just something that is just. And here's the thing: when it gets to the wall, it's even more fun because two three wall splats. So, you know. So wait, that actually, you're doing that that whiff jab there is that just a frame kill? Uh, you have to do the whiff jab helps you time the four four three. Gotcha. Right. Like if you just do it. The whiff jab you. helps you in this like a deep is you just do a, a forward then a really deep forward forward three and then you should have the plus nine um anyway onto the skyrocket combos um that was just a little detour there and that's part of the reason i love the combo because it does a lot of damage mm -hmm. it's from what i've seen so far it's the easiest um it's the easiest combo damage wise that you can get into the backlash i think max damage i've seen so far off of it is that because yeah that's 73 that's 73 after the backlash, but I don't find this combo consistent. I struggle to get the up three mm -hmm. um, all the time. Literally, as I say that, I've not dropped the up three yet. I was saying, it looks pretty consistent four. to me. Yeah. And then again, like, you know, that's two points more damage if you do that combo instead. Um, like, yeah, so this so far is the max damage I've seen of Skyrocket. Like, it's like a micro dash. Oh my god. Can't Skyrocket anymore. I've fallen off. My fault, man. My YouTube chat's right. I've uh, fallen off. Okay, actually, the micro dash is actually more micro than I thought. Um, it's really, it's really okay. I might start doing this combo now. Yeah, again. Um, so that's so the so let's circle back. You just ask for the combos. Easiest combo um, that you can do, in my opinion, is this. I love this combo. I like one damage like that without doing that. <clears throat> so I'd say, and this one's pretty easy, right? Because there's no, like, for example, in this combo, mm -hmm. if I do, okay. Like, this can be a bit inconsistent. Actually, what's the damage on this as well? I right, forget that combo. Yeah, I'd say the combo you should go for after Skyrocket, pretty much the easiest one, is dash into the forward two, forward three, up forward. Oh, wait, no. Ah, that's the combo there, right? And then also, obviously, because you've just done backlash, mm -hmm. you can dash up into up with plus four four, right? And then go from there. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend that combo. To be honest, I think it's not too difficult. Um, gotcha. Good damage, and then also because the damage into backlash is nice. What's that? Seventy. It was still decent. I was actually plus nine, they're not plus ten. But like, yeah, still leads into that pretty nicely. So I'd say that's the combo I'd focus on. Um But actually, what's the combo I'm doing now? Because I think that one's also pretty easy. Yeah, I think pick your choice. Wh whichever one you like, really, to be honest. Like swag is everything, so. Is this what? This character is so fucking sick, man. All right. I don't care what anyone says. This is the coolest fucking character in Tekken. <laughs> yep. uh, he's he's so flexible and versatile. Like, I feel like everybody plays this character differently. Like, okay, like, outside of the, you niggas fighting for your life in red ranks, like, niggas who actually know how to play Tekken, like, everybody has their own style with this character, and it's so sick. Yep. But the green ranks don't want to hear, don't hear that, man. Like, what do you mean? You're all just spamming threes and fours. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, so I'd say, I mean, which combo did you like the most? I think I like the, uh, backlash dash four, two, one ends in, uh, the double backlash and then ended up equity combo. I like that more than the hunting hot combo. So this one. Yeah. I like that one more. Okay. It's good. wall carry as well. All right. So yeah, that's probably, that'll probably be the one I practice. 
All right. Um, make sure this is clip this then, and then I'll also give you the inputs. That's a oh, I, 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 uh, I wrote it down. All right, fantastic. Yeah, I just watched you. Also, it's good to it. have it clipped as well, just so you can just see. Just for a visual. Yeah. Yeah. Also, chat All somebody right. over here could clip it. That'd be appreciated. Okay. Now let's go back over here. All right. Um. All right, go back to your thingy screen. Go back to your practice mode. We go. Okay. Um, so we've got back dash, wave dash. Again, just practice that. Scar can practice that. Mm -hmm. Um. I think that's everything for today. Yeah. Like, we got you to wave dash. We got you to back dash. We got you to skyrocket. We got pitch in the game. Um, yeah. So you're just doing it again. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wait, do, wait, do skyrocket into back dash? Uh, oh, no, now I have to do a skyrocket on command now. <laughs> All right, yeah, you need to, you need to do buffering. buffering. <laughs> to I'm going to work so, on it, but don't be surprised if I'm not doing that for a while. Yeah, now I'd say, oh, let me go back to my screen. So when it comes down to it, because again, your, your stance switch is going to be so much smoother, genuinely. Right, like I, right? I, I get the idea. It's just, I, my thumb wants to immediately let go of four every time I do that. And so just keep in, in mind to like hold it. If I could get like a clean it's like if you just look at the input that's on my screen now, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, when is it why is it doing that? Four, four, three plus four. Where does where's that four come from? Hold on. That that's four at the end? Oh yeah, okay. So what's happening? Okay. Yeah, literally, like if you just see the input, it's like mm -hmm. hold four. Then you just push three. Hold four plus press three. Let go, and then three to the four. Right. Like I think buffer buffering because the reason why that co that combo is going to be harder for you to land if you don't buffer it because I'm not going to have the height in the backlash. Yeah, your backlash is just going to be like this is me not buffering it right. Right. It's just a lot harder to do. Mm. I'd, I'd say it's very important to buffer, especially for Scarlet combos as well. Yeah. Um, Why well, might do? Oh, you might be able to like. I wish. Okay. I'd say what's important is I'd say what you should do to practice your buffer mm -hmm. is I'm going to give you a combo to do. And it has to not be too difficult, so you can just always do the combo. We do back three. I'm just trying to think of like, actually, I'd say this, just do the combo you're doing actually. So do your back three combo. Mm -hmm. I'd say, yeah, just, I need you to just go into practice mode and practice doing this. So what I'm doing here. The thing is, I think I have a better back three combo that I'm doing now, um, but it's inconsistent if you're off axis. So just keep, yeah, you know, when I drop my combo guide, you'll have your options. But for, that, for now, I mean, frankly, I think this has just been serving me well. And like, this is better than the combo I feel like a lot of people doing anyway. So yeah, I'd say practice this, right? Right. I'd say just after you do your combo, holding four, dashing forward, then the four, three plus four, and then slide it. Okay. I'd say just practice doing that. Because I wanted, I wanted like an easy way to practice. Actually, just do, actually, no, forget that. Forget why I said that. 
um i would say you need to you need to be able to do it in isolation right so i'd say it's i just realized the reason why i hold four before i buffer is because of dress frame scarakit right I, ju I literally just realized that now because four i always do four even if three is out i always do four i just realized why it's because of dress frame scarakit so i'd say a drill to practice this is just do four so hold like do a four hold it then four three plus four and then backlash all right i like, try and do this as fast as you can oh i see so all right now hold on let me take a look at Wait, screen. why do you why the why the forward is the forward thing? Because that's part of the start switch. Wait, how? Because you could just do three, four. I, wait, what? Not, now you now you losing me. Is there something here I don't know about? Well, okay. So that's so that's for when you're dashing up into backlash. That's what the start. That's what the forward. Oh, I, I see. Three plus four is four, but obviously in backlash you don't do the you don't do the thing straight away. But I feel like it's important to get the buffer for the dash up more than just the the skyrocket because i think once you can do it for the dash up like you're fine i think that's the hard one to learn right so um go back to your screen oh. uh, so he's saying just like do forward hold it and then that oh, can i reset <laughs> Doing that all in one fluid motion, yeah, that's gonna take practice. That that is, but literally that is what you did there. That was it. What you did there was perfect. Yeah. I'm like overthinking it. It's something that's so simple, but like because it's different than what I'm used to, it like takes a lot of focus for me to not just do. My usual shit. Do when you're holding four, press. Oh, actually, I think you might have just done it. Wait, do that again. Uh, Don't even think about it. Just do it. Just do it. Right, so I think you did it. You did it, and then now I told you to do it again. Now you confuse yourself. Yeah. Um, <laughs> press when you press forward. Mm -hmm. Press three at the same time. Yeah. While you're holding four. I tried to do it first. It's basically like it's basically like tapping while holding four. You're doing forward three. Think of it like that. Like that. Yeah. That is literally it. Okay, okay. I, yeah, I, I gotta practice it, but I, I, I think I can get the hang of it eventually. I'm just looking at my, yeah, literally like that's it. What you're doing there. If you want as well, like when you do four, just press the four and just like wait for a second. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to worry about the recovery of the, the four messing up. So just hold four. You just, so just do four, right? And then while still holding it, then you just go from there, right? See, I see. And then just focus on getting that forward three while holding the four and three to four as fast as possible. looks hard i think buffering is hard in concept 
but like I, once you understand exactly what it is the execution of it is easy it's hard to overwrite muscle memory you already had if you weren't yeah. doing it before that's what's hard about it because like the what you're actually doing is not difficult to do like i wouldn't say like the the, the button combinations are hard or anything it's just when you already had a way that you've been doing something and you've been doing it for a while overwriting that is what makes it difficult that's pretty much it yeah like so yeah, so that's the, that's like the, what I hear, three things really mm -hmm. need to practice. Back dash, wave dash, skyrocket, and then the buffer. I think just actively practicing those things. So for example, say you have a writing session, mm -hmm. you play however games. Are. What? Oh, actually, I need to show you my thoroughbred training as well. That's the last thing. Sure. And this is the, this is also probably the last active training thing to, to show you as well, right? So what I do to practice throws, oh, I just I can look at this screen actually while I do this. That's crazy. Can you see my screen? Yeah. That's crazy. All right. So I go in against pool. Where the fuck is this bomb? There he is. Get ready for the next battle. So this is how I practice throw breaking uh, when I was. So we set him to do which of the three throws so it's not twist and shout so chest crusher i think another issue i have with throw breaking in tekken is that for whatever reason in tekken it's harder for me to keep my eyes more on my own opponent than it or keep my eyes on my opponent than it is on my own character you know because typically in a fighting game right you don't want to be watching your own character too closely like you should be comfortable in what you're doing and like obviously you're looking at them but like the, the way you break throws in tech is looking at the arms of your opponent but if you're not looking more at their character and that's going to be difficult and for me i think that's where part of it comes comes down to for me because i'm not as focused on them as i should be or like as i am in some other games i don't know why yeah, that so is gen though. generally for me when i play Tekken, i'm looking at like the space like just in front of pool mm -hmm. for the most part like where right. his fist is is about where i'm looking right um and that helps that that helps me gauge distance distance especially for whiff punishment like if i see him like whiff or move in a certain way and like we're here i know most moves he does is gonna whiff right so mm -hmm. i'll i'll be ready to cure up my whiff punish because obviously it's his hurt box extends um like i thought also that comes with like comfortability for the game and also but it does vary like Right, because if we're like here, I think I'm more looking at Huang than anything, right. you know, because like, no, look at it, looking at, I think Paul will be counterintuitive, right? But then the closer I get, the more I'm focusing on his side, really and truly, right? Um, but yeah, I think that also just comes down to being comfortable because again, like, like I said, I know if he does something from a certain range, I should be fine. So I'm ready to, but that just, that just comes down with like, like it's like I've been in front of, I've almost been hit by the car enough times. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I've or I've seen this whiff a billion times, so I'm ready. I understand and I know that spacing right. But also varies from character to character. Some characters like you want to be looking like right at them because they're gonna be on some shit, right? Mm -hmm. um, but like generally, I'm looking at just at the space like just in front of my opponent. Um, but yeah, when it comes to throw breaking, so I set Paul to do these three three throws. So chest crusher, foot launch, and push away. Um, and it has to be push away. Um, because it swaps sides when you break it. Because uh, breaking throws, I think, should be done. You should practice it on both sides. Um, because it can it can really mess up your mind, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and how what I would do is so say I would just say I just finish a rank session, right? right. I go into practice mode. This is why I don't do this anymore because i'm a psycho i was a psychopath um i would literally those three throws are set because one is a one break one is a two break and one is a one plus two mm -hmm. and literally i would just go into practice mode and then i would just practice breaking the throws and push away swap sides Let's see oh, wait which uh which throws is it again I'm gonna set this up for myself now. <clears throat> Chest crusher, foot launch, and push away. So I'll leave this up so you can see. 96, 98, and 100. Gotcha. Okay. Got him. 
and then this is something I, I did in fighters but differently which i actually got from lord knight who by the way i see you just rated me thanks big homie greatly appreciate it uh <laughs> welcome everyone to the boots and the flowers i'm lotus asa the one who never knows best, never knows best. you know what i'm saying tight 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 currently getting some tech and coaching from the one and only k wish world class player if you don't know now you know you need to go ahead and find out show him some love appreciate you lk hope your stream went well but yeah speaking of lk he had a drill in dbfz when it came to like blocking 6m teching dragon rush and like like dash blocking and everything like that and i stole that that training regiment from him and i did it in dbfz but like when it comes to actual throw big training in, in tekken i just neglected it up to now yeah like it's again it's one of these you have to actively train because that is what gets you the reaction the muscle memory for it mm -hmm. and then literally what i was doing is i was breaking every single throw every single time and i did it a hundred times in a row before i was able to leave practice mode um, and so there'd be times I'd get to like, say I'm at 90, this, I'm at 98. And then I wouldn't break that. And then, oh, well, we start again. Um, and this I used to what it takes to, to be a world-class player. I've set the interval really fast as well. So this is like worst case. Right. Like this is really fast, actually. This is faster than Tekken 7. The interval was never this short in Tekken 7, right? And then that would be it, right? I would recommend. Is there? You can't set. Oh, here we go. Action interval. I would. I would recommend starting on slow, right? Because mm -hmm. that will just help you. All right, that's one plus two. Cool. Then you have time to wait. Dash up. Wow, that's, okay, that's really slow. This is. <laughs> okay. But again, I I see no reason we're doing it this slow, right? Just to start off with right and you just increase it as you get more comfortable with it yeah makes sense. the more the more comfortable you get you ramp it up from there so it's like progressive overload you know the more the better you get and then literally this is what i did and it got to the point i was doing it on short and it was like a hundred times in a row and if i messed it up it was the worst day of my life <laughs> And I really, this has helped me realize I need to practice my throw breaks on 2P more as well, because I'm messing up my throw break on 2P more. And he's doing a bunch of two. So. And again, I if you, as long as you can, the most important thing for me is being able to recognize which arm it is. Right. Like if you recognize which arm it is, but you get it wrong, like, uh, so you do it late, that's less of an issue. Right. You know? Like that, I tried to do one plus two, but I, I just messed up the input. Cool, whatever. But I recognize it was one plus two. I think the most important thing is to start recognizing which arm it is. Mm -hmm. I'm do shuffle as well. Shuffle might be the hard one though. Oh, there it is. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh, yeah. Like I'd recommend starting on slow if you've never done this before. Um, and then like you said, just ramping up as you go and then go from there. Um, I know some people like to mix in moves as well when they do their throw break training. That's something you can do. I'm just saying me personally, this is how I did it. Um, and it was like 50 times in a row. Cool. I can go to bed now. hundred times. Cool. I can go to bed now. Um, and then that was it really. Um, it was really like a trial by fire type thing. Like, and yeah, that's, that was my drill for throw break training. Um, I'd say the most important thing when you're first starting out is especially if you're doing it on slow, is just being able to recognize which arm it is, right? right? Or whether or not it's both. I think that's the most important thing when you first start. Because just starting to get that, because you start to realize how like slow throws kind of look, right? You know? Mm -hmm. So I think that's the most important thing when you're first starting out. Just which arm. Make sure you get that right. Get the fundamental, get the basic down. And then you ramp up the speed and you start to be able to break, break it faster and faster and faster and faster and faster, right? Um, but like, yeah, that's, that, that is my throw break training hell drill. Um, you can also mix up with like a, with a reactable low as well. Mm -hmm. That's something I've seen people do. Um, but like, yeah, I think that is, and again, that is something where like, literally I found it to be like, I hate saying this, but like, so when I, when I, uh, started getting better at Tekken, um, I found like the 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 growth was like a it wasn't like a gradual thing, 
it's like oh i'm slightly better at throw breaks now yay it was like literally like holy shit it's like i see the matrix now <laughs> right like, the shot and gun just awoken it was literally that was that was how it went and that just came from the practice over and over and over and over and over again and then it suddenly got to a point where it's like okay i i can just see it now and again practice like when it comes to anything in this game because people ask me the questions on so many things like practice makes perfect and the more i just practiced it over and over again like it got to a point where it's like i i i see i can see the numbers i i'm um, see i see code i see zeros and ones on my screen you know whenever there whenever there was a throw right right so like it's like it's like there's a big anime power up jump when you start to for something like this right so that is that is something you'll notice like oh like I, yeah i broke the matrix basically right um homie show up some hashirama cells basically that's what happened yeah um so yeah i'd say that is your I've got big thing. yeah so throw breaks back dash wave dash skyrocket buffer and those are those are your five things i don't even know if that was five i wasn't counting but it could be five um but yeah those are your those are your five things to practice and then obviously everything i said in the games as well and then try and incorporate that sounds good and then what i'd say is we can like what's a decent time frame like 24 hours okay i'll see if you improve within 24 hours i don't think we're gonna see too many noticeable improvements from that i mean there are, there are definitely some things here that i can implement right away but i was thinking more like a week or something but mm, a day <laughs> if you want to meet back in 24 hours we can but no I'd you'll, say, you'll be very like, disappointed if we come back in 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna be very happy <laughs> i'd say like like a week and a bit like a week and a few days or something because i don't want it to be like <laughs> i don't want it to be like like genuine homework type shit Right. Like I'm like we get back in a week. I'm like, what the fuck? You didn't do your five practice. You know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> it's a fun. It's a game. We're supposed to have fun. You know, I don't want it to be like a super super serious type thing. So like, I don't want sure. to be like like you have seven days, and if in those seven days I don't see, you know what I mean? Right. Um. But yeah, I'd say like within a week or so, I'd like to. I'd like to. I'd like. I think do like the exact same pro process. You know. Mm -hmm. but I think I think we can make this like a weekly thing. We're like okay i've given you this I, i've looked at your games i've looked at this we'll get back next week you play some ranked games i see where you're at i see what you're doing i see what you're not doing fish bash bosh bob's your uncle sounds good, sounds I, good. I was thinking of another british very phrase but my, my another my british God. idiom yeah british yeah. if you will no no that sounds, like a, <laughs> that sounds like an energy source, not a vibranium. Or yeah, like vibranium or some shit. Yeah. He's got the fucking, he's got the brilliant stuff. Like, anyway, brilliant gauntlets on. <laughs> okay, um, but yeah, I think that's it. I was like, how long was that? Like two, three hours. It was three yeah. hours. I've been recording yeah. three hours. So. Yeah, shit. Um, it's currently half four over here. Um, I almost fixed my sleeping schedule as well. I, I almost did it. No, because I was fine like yesterday, kind of, and I woke up. It's because the tournament fucked me. I woke up like, I had to wake up like early for the tournament, and then I tried to go to sleep early, but anyway. Um, yeah. So you got your five things within like a week or so, but like also it's a case of like, if you feel, feel like in a week, you're like, okay, I haven't really done much. I want to put it back no issues like it's not it's not like a hard and fast like in a week if i do not see you buffering and like i'm already seeing the wave dash like you, you know what i mean like and again like within practice that'll be great you know what i mean um and again your p1 wave dash is just your p2 back dash right. and vice versa so the better you get at that the better you get at your back dash on the other side you know like again, like I teach the quote unquote dirty back dash because it's what I do. And I could I just teach what I do. You know, some people be like, no. Because this thing, like, you're not planning on playing Brian or Paul or Nino anytime no. soon, right? No. Yeah, then it doesn't it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. Because then you get the sway with them and it doesn't matter. Um So yeah. Within a week or so, 
when the bullet dip it. Just, just do that for like, yeah. Uh, and like I said, if it gets... What day is it today? That's a great question. Uh, it's Sunday for me, but it's not Monday for it's, you. Yes, it's Monday for me. Um, so like if next Monday, you're like, hey, I haven't really been doing much. So can we reschedule? Like, like, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think, I think we're good. Um, got your notes. You got your fire. Is, was it five things? Hold on. Backdash, wave dash, skyrocket, buffer. Breaks. It was five things. Okay. Look at you counting the five. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you got your five things. You have your notes. Um Yeah, I, I think that's it. Oh, something else I want to ask you about real quick before we do get out of here. One last thing. How do you feel about dash jab with Wadong? What do you mean? Just like in general, like in neutral. Do you do you think like this like his jab and neutral is really that good? Uh I think because like I feel like I don't know. I've been trying to get the hang of like, just like, like literally just using like dash jab and neutral. Just what is the, get the plus eight on here to just start the offense or whatever. And I just, I don't know. It's it's something that just hasn't like quite clicked to me. And I don't know if it's because I just don't think his jab is particularly great, or if I'm just not really understanding how to best utilize this as a tool in neutral with just regular jabs. But I, I don't feel like I see you use it very much either. But I, I didn't know if there was a reason for that. I think for me, it's a case of being able to vary your approach because there was a time in tournament mm -hmm. where um, a lot of people would, were just doing high crush on whenever I approach because a lot of the way I started my offense was one, two into Flamingo. Right. And so people were just like, when I'm dashing it, okay, they're just going to do high crush or they're just going to be fast and like speed or just back one of them um, because my time was too obvious, right? I think being able to vary your approach is good. I think with barring a single jab is also good because people are going to be expecting the one two into a flamingo stance. So a single jab can get those mental plus frames as well because they're like, oh, okay, that's the jab, but he's going to do the rest of it, right? Right. Um, so I would say that's good. Um, I think his one two is also strong as well because it creates, again, it creates mental cross frames there as well because again they're going to expect one two into flamingo mm -hmm. um but the single jab in general is an important thing jcr has a whole video on the power of the one jab plus one on clock very plus one jab. jab jabs are plus eight in this game now which is a buff um so again it is something to be to be, to be doing but again yeah i think as long as you're varying up your approaches so running to jab is pretty good and then like when firing is in when firing is in heat like it's he gets a full count of launch um, <laughs> off, the, off the frame trap, right? If he right. does a jab into two, four, forward, four, that's a full, that's a full launcher, you know? Um, so I think just, again, it's just about varying your approach. You know, if you're running, if you're just running and doing jab, all people are just going to high crush. That's for sure. Or they're just going to bait it, backdash, beat it, sidewalk, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but like, yeah, I'd say just a varying approach is, is the name of the game with that. Um, I should have said before, like, if you have any questions, like, don't really fast, there's no questions, there's no question type shit. Um, so if you have any questions, before well, right, I before the um, no, I mean, now. honestly, I, I did have some stuff written down in my notes, just a few general things, but like, we've covered everything that I had written down, so. That's how good I am. That's you know what I'm saying? That's fucking insane. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, someone said down for one or forward two. They're, they're both decent mids. Down for one's good, forward two is good. They serve different purposes. Down for one is all right, because again, down for one is a mental plus game because he has down for one three, so they might want to push off for it. His down for one used to be so good. His down for one used to be zero on block. And I miss those days. What is it now? Um, it's minus one. It could even be minus two in this game, actually. Um, but it should be minus one. Um, because he has down for one three now, so zero on block is like less of a thing. So. Yeah, he has down for one three, so. Um, but yeah, I think we've got everything covered. Um, as I'm speaking right now, that is basically my first hour of streaming just hit. So. Hey. <laughs> Boy numbers. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think that's it. Lotus, you got any questions? 
not uh, pretty much does that. I appreciate you, homie. This was very insightful, very helpful. I, I feel like I've already improved just execution wise in several things. Like I, I'm wave dashing and back dashing a little bit, and I, I've done several skyrockets today. So I feel like that's a huge leap already. When you started doing the skyrockets, I, I was my mind was blown. Yours, and then, my mine. <laughs> <laughs> and then like when when you started doing the way, oh god, it was like. I just I've never felt more proud in my life. You know what um, I mean? So yeah, I feel like I feel like we have a very good base to work from here. As mm -hmm. long as you, you keep doing your work, I feel like we're we're trending upwards, definitely. Sounds good, man. Sounds great. Alright. Well, I appreciate I, you, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. No worries, man. I hope, are you still streaming? Uh yeah, for a bit longer I think, yeah. Okay. Well, enjoy the rest of your stream. Appreciate Bye. you. I'm about to pass out. Let me say goodbye to, to my chat. But Lotus, thank you for having me on your stream. Thank you, Lotus, for stream for allowing me to be here. Yeah, um, thank you for being here. Anytime. Uh, anyway, appreciate you for allowing me to, to be here. Likewise. My words aren't doing words anymore, so <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to catch you later. Goodbye. Englishman got no English. Crazy. Apparently. All right, later, dog. See you.